What's up, everybody? Dope as Yola here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Guys, this is the Dope as Usual podcast. We are here to talk about problems, life, accomplishments, drugs, and everything in between. This is episode, I believe, 15. Episode 15, guys. All right. Today marks the third month anniversary. We started on February 8th. It is now May 8th. So, three months old today. Fuck yeah. Shout out to everyone on Patreon. Um, everyone on our Twitter, our Instagram, our YouTube, we just hit 77,000 subscribers, which is fucking awesome. So thank you guys so much, uh, for supporting. Everything's looking great. So thank you guys so much. So new episode, solo podcast. We're coming hot off fucking three. Uh, we're coming off the three guest podcasts in a row. If you guys didn't see it, my mom, uh, a lot of people like you're just mean to your mom. Like, hey man, she was a lot meaner to me, and it was fun. So I enjoyed it. She had fun. She wasn't pissed. So that was good. We had Eric Khan come on. You guys loved it. Biggest episode yet. So shout out to you guys for watching, which is very fucking cool. And Fabian Alomar uh, dropped last week. Funny motherfucker, man. So we've had three really good guests in a row. Well, it's up now. It's just our turn to hang out. This is another solo episode. Marty and I just talking shit so since i haven't talked to you guys in a while so let's catch up what's been going on in our lives everything everything's fast as fuck everything's moving quick that's it that's really what's going on every day i wake up going fuck all right let's knock these things out it's it's good it's the best time of my life it's everything's circulating well everything's working out push trees the clothing company's doing fucking awesome our taxes are done we're no longer fucking delinquents we did all our taxes for all the years we fucked up everything's looking good i'm an adult kind of now now that i did my taxes which is pretty fucking cool um i went to bed early once since i've seen you guys last things are turning up all right things are going i'm not watching youtube co- well, never mind i went to bed at seven o'clock this morning I was watching sport YouTube compilations, so I'll take that back. Anyway, guys, I'm trying to grow up, so I'm going to hop right into this real quick. I need to talk about some shit because it's been ruining my fucking life for months, and I know some of you guys noticed. So here we go. Let's talk about it. Health. Let's uh, talk about health, right? So I am prone for some reason to getting sinus infections since I was about 18. When I was at my grandma's on 6th Street, the one we brought up on the podcast many times, 1142 West 6th Street, boy, Merced, that's my grandma and grandpa's house. There's black mold in there my whole life. So I didn't know black mold, super deadly to people. It can cause really bad infections in your body. I didn't know. When we moved, I always had sinus infections, but I didn't really have allergies. I know it's a weird story, but I need to tell you guys the backstory first, right? Um, then I got a sinus infection really, really bad where I couldn't stand up. And then when I stood up, I'd get sick, start spinning, I'd start throwing up. It was very weird it was the month me and rosie started dating and that's when i knew rosie was down as fuck because she took care of me for like two weeks i was throwing up it was it was horrible dude but i haven't been sick i haven't had sinus infection like that since january i mean until january so we started this podcast february 8th right josh wolf episode everything was fine next fault solo episode okay i feel good the day Ryan Sickler was here, guys, if you guys have been watching since the start, I mean, since the start, it's been three fucking months. If you guys have been watching for a couple months, do you remember the Ryan Sickler episode where I kept like, you could see a couple parts where I'm rubbing my eye and rubbing my head. Like I'm just touching my face. And you guys have seen it on Instagram. I, cause people ask, why are you fucking rubbing your head? Guys, I have had a stinging ass headache since February 9th. No, no, it's like February 15th. It's fucking May. I've had a fucking sinus infection for almost three months, solid, straight. And I've had glass. I wear glasses now when I edit because I thought I was going blind. I think it's a sinus infection just fucking up my eye. So, guys, I have something they think it's they think it's called chronic syntitis, chronic syntitis or something. It's whack, dude. I've had a inflamed head. I've, I basically haven't been able to think. So I haven't been editing a lot. I haven't been on the computer. That's why I haven't been doing live streams because looking at my phone, trying to read the comments, I start feeling sick. I start feeling like I'm going to throw up and then I get in like a bad mood. Why the fuck would I want to be in a bad mood talking to my fans and shit? So that's why I haven't been doing a lot of videos. The podcast is the only thing I can do. I'm just sitting here. I'm talking. I don't have to like actively make a video. I just, I just been feeling sick guys. Like 
All right. So basically at the end of February, I got around antibiotics. It didn't do shit. A week or two later, 10 days later, I went and got a steroid. I had to get a steroid. Didn't do shit. I waited another month because I thought it was going to go away. No, guys. So it still didn't go away. I'm on my day four of my really, really, really strong antibiotics now. My head's feeling a lot better. As you can tell, I feel like I, I feel like I look different. I'm looking at these videos and I can see like how much my fucking head hurts. Every podcast we've done, I'm going to be honest. During the Ryan Sickler one, I almost passed out. There was a time I almost fucking fainted. I thought I was going to faint because my head was hurting so bad. It just... As I dealt with it. So I've been dealing with it for months. So Marty's been asking, how's your head feel? Like, It's been sad to fucking watch. Like shit. Every time we FaceTime, you're just like. Every time I'm holding my fucking head, it just, it's throbbing out my eye and my eyebrow. Like right now, it, it hurts. It hurts right now, but it didn't hurt all day today. So that's what I've been dealing with. I know it sounds all sad and shit. At least you got the shit taken care of. It's actually a good <sighs> thing that you're saying because you, yeah, you that's went true. and did what you needed to do, got it handled, and it's feeling better, right? It's feeling a lot better. I got a voluntary shot, and I hate needles. We haven't even talked about that, too. My mom brought it up on the podcast where I've uh, escaped many doctor's office rooms, just screaming, running. But, yeah, I got a shot. I'm feeling a little bit better. Things are working out, all right? So I just wanted to talk about that because it's really been uh, it's been weighing on me every day. Every time we're here, after we're done, I'm like, yo, my head is fucking throb. It's just, it's not fun. So I'm happy as hell to be okay i'm feeling a lot better so guys let's get into this podcast i know everyone on the fucking roads like what the fuck is this guy talking about I'm talking about my health all right I'm talking about how fucked it up it is and how i don't take care of it so sinus infection as i light a joint sinus infection all right please be careful all right i don't even know how i got this shit i i, I have no idea but we're okay now Damn, didn't didn't you say you had raging sinus infections as a kid or some shit? Uh, when I was like 18, 19, yeah. yeah. Really, really bad ones. But, dude, this one's been long. It's been four, three months. That's that's cr- three months, every day, headache, all day. Yo, I've been feeling like I want to die. It sucks. You know. Yeah. I talk to you every fucking day. That's how the standard cold usually goes for me. I'm good for one a year. I go down for a fucking month. Bro, oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. I went to the doctor this last time. I didn't even say it. I went to the doctor. You put this death or the... the not a stethoscope, whatever the fuck it's called, I'm not a doctor. Puts it in my ear for 0.5 seconds. He puts it in my ear and goes, whoa. Backs up. He looks at me and goes, does your ear hurt? I go, no. Because your ear is infected. That's how he said it. Is infected. He said it like, you're dying. Are you okay? I looked at him like, I'm okay. He goes, it's so red and infected. I'm going to put you on this, this, and this. And I, I said, is that why my head hurts? He goes, probably. Yeah. And that's what I thought. You're a doctor. Why don't you tell me why my head hurts? <laughs> why am I guessing? And we're both probably. Uh-huh. Th- that's what the I had one a doctor thing. do that. He's like, you know, your nose is fucking, you got the deviated septum going, right? That's why you got the nose whistle. Nah, bitch. I'm coming to you about the nose whistle. I don't why know do the fuck I, I got it. the nose whistle. Yeah, yeah dude. Uh, I bet you never went deaf right. over having your ear get clogged with earwax, though. You did? Yeah, right when I moved here. It was fucking horrible. I almost went insane. Why? Why? Why'd you have some It just rice? slowly, I don't know. I fucking, because I used up? Q-tips, I guess. That's what they uh, said. And you're on the East Coast your whole life. You never, I, have you ever done an ear candle? Well, I did when I started fucking going deaf. It's yeah, disgusting, I did. Huh? It's disgusting. But it's was what, what was more disgusting was going to the ER and having them plunge water out of my like into my ear and it like shot out this giant rock of wax no and my hearing came back into focus it was the most amazing feeling i've ever felt marty ow it was amazing but like having that go on makes you want to rip your ear off uh and i I let it let let shit uh, linger for months i never even talked about this i couldn't hear as a kid did i ever tell you that no. I have immaculate hearing now. It's weird. Rosie, but you hear it? I'm like, I fucking hear it from a mile away. <laughs> I have crazy good hearing, but I couldn't hear as a kid. I had tubes in my ears. You know that it is? Yeah, Cam had that. My oh, did he? Had that, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I had tubes in my ears. That's why I can do this. For everybody at home, you can't see it, but that's why I can do this. Everybody watching on the podcast can see. Watch. Oh, God. Watch. I can pop my ear. Guys, that's my ear, not my tongue. Watch. Oh. What the? F- so my party trick started in fourth grade, fifth grade. You guys ready for this? For everyone at home uh, driving that didn't see that, for everyone driving that didn't see that, um, 
I popped my ear. I found out how to do that because I got tubes in my ears because I couldn't hear shit. I got tubes in my ears and they itch because I had open cuts, you know, surgery. So I'm sitting there scratching my ear in class like, oh my God, it hurts. And I did my pinky and I like, you know what I mean? I just tried to alleviate some of the pressure and I went, <laughs> I looked around like, what the fuck was that? I scared the shit. The first, come on, imagine that happened to me the first time. That's like, crazy. Fuck? I remember my dad taught me to do that with your cheek. Yeah, no, I had to do my ear. Your ear? I used to do it in I class. I realized I was a freak. Same way with the double jointed thumbs. thumbs. Yeah. That's pretty cool. People started fucking freaking out like I was like a Quasimodo when I started realizing everyone's you were in, thumbs you were, weren't like the you were same in thing. a little kid though, and they were like, wow. Yeah. Even yeah. now though, that freaks people out. Yeah. Do I can do this thing with smoke? Have I showed you the smoke thing? I'm sure. No, I haven't. I, listen. The small, I don't know what you're referring to. All right, you guys, you guys, for everyone, what are we getting into? What does podcast <laughs> turn into? Real quick, this is for YouTube entertainment because everyone on the radio, you can't see this, but I'm about to produce smoke out of my body without smoking. <laughs> are you ready, Marty? I know you're going to trip. Here. I don't know where that's about to You're going to trip balls. Everybody on YouTube, get fucking ready for this, all right? I've been doing this in sixth grade. My cousin Adrian showed me how to do it because his, his brother Billy showed him. I asked my science teacher, Miss Bentley, what it means. And she looked at me and just went, I don't know what that is. You guys ready? Before I ever smoked, ever, I can do this. So it's not like I'm burping smoke up. Watch. Did you see it, Marty? Yeah, I saw Did it. you see it? Yeah. How would you have started to do that before? Because my cousin speaking? Adrian did it, and I go, "What did you just do? How did you just make smoke come out of your mouth?" Because at the time, uh, <laughs> cigarette bubblegum cigarettes were the coolest thing in the world because you could pretend you're smoking. Everyone I knew smoked. All of parents, so it's like, that's cool. How did you do it? That was some I, David Blaine shit. Right I had to there. give him two dollars for him to show me how to do it. And okay. Two dollars in the sixth grade uh, or seventh grade? That was detrimental. It's a good investment, though. Look at us. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you out there, I know a lot of you in the comments are gonna go. I can do that bro aren't you a, aren't you like a god as a kid <laughs> oh you, know, you can make smoke I, we used to do it in class we used to do it in class dude just to fuck with people and they go what the fuck and you can't say anything while you're in class and teachers gonna go what the fuck are you doing thomas is smoking <laughs> what are you talking about yo it's it's i used to get get it to where it would like ghost cloud it's i somebody figure it out leave it in the comments how the fuck did i do that is it steam pressure from are you asking breath? me or are you fucking with I'm me? I'm asking you, what is it? I don't know what the fuck I just watched. <laughs> I assumed it was weed smoke, but you're saying you're no, doing this No, no, I did this before I ever smoked. I could show you, I could show you right now. I would now believe how to that do you it. just have like clouds of <laughs> I just weed show billowing like, underneath uh, the surface right uh, now. Like if I bled and you and it got yeah. on you, you're gonna get high. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm, <laughs> no big shocker there. But but dude, isn't that preposterous? How the fuck did we get onto this? Oh, my ear know. thing. Listen, we're going to put the answer out on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works, but how the fuck do we get onto this topic? I don't know. But here we go. Health. That's how it was. I got tubes in my ears yep. and I started it scratching them. That's how it got onto it. So, guys, I've been doing that since I was a child. It, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's pretty damn cool. And uh, the ear thing is awesome, too. But maybe that's why I get sinus infections. I'm over here putting popping <laughs> air into my ear canal and shit. It's well, you're allergic to weed, so you probably had. I'm mad fucking... allergic to weed. If you guys didn't notice during the Eric Khan episode, did you notice it? My about, eyebrow, right here? No, I did not. During the Eric Khan episode, about an hour in, right here, if you look, I get a huge welt on my eye because I touched weed and I touched my face. I'm allergic to weed. For someone that just smokes weed all day, when I touch weed and the and it gets in my pores, like if it gets in my pores, not just my hands, if it gets in my pores, I get a little hive. Like I got stung by a bee. It goes away after about 20 minutes, but you're going to be able to see it on the Eric Khan episode. It starts to form. It's in the thumbnail, Marty. The thumbnail that we made, I have a fucking thing growing on my head and then it goes away by the end of the podcast. So, yeah, guys, uh, I saw. I'm, I'm shocked nobody else saw it, honestly. Now everybody's going to go back. I see. I can't not see it. I already know. You almost had a goddamn asthma attack before the million subscriber video. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> that I, was I didn't bad. know. I thought you were joking. Like, you're allergic to weed? I fucking rolled. For everyone that doesn't know, on my main channel, Dope Ziola, I do a lot of weed content. And uh, I rolled a quarter pound joint. So I got a quarter pound worth of weed from the club. Put it all on the table, grind it all up, roll a fucking joint as big as your arm. So, 
I broke out in hives because <laughs> I was touching all the wee different poor, uh, different trichomes touching. My face broke out. I was all red and blotchy. It's just what happens to me, man. Just the past like four years. And it's not like you're under a bunch of lights on 4K cameras either while this is going on. There you go. That's probably not helping. <laughs> it's probably not helping. Um, this weed is delicious. This GMO, I'm not smoking OG. So GMO is fire. So here we go. Oh, are you still a man without weed? Are you still scavenging and getting what you can, or are you back to your? Are you still a man without weed, you guys? I know Marty said that you're like Marty. What do you? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Marty's right. I have been weedless for about two and a half, three months, and I don't mean weedless like I'm not smoking weed. I haven't had more than a quarter pound to a pound in over three months. I've been buying weed from the damn. <sighs> I've been disgusting. buying weed from the shop. I've been buying weed from the shop, guys, <laughs> because I've been finding this one strain and this one uh, company that sells it, and it's fucking fire as clean OG. I have been a regular kid. I haven't bought weed like that. You're not since a regular kid when you go into the dispensary and your fucking podcast and your videos are playing on the walls and shit. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> that, that was, was sick. pretty fucking yeah. cool. I walked in, it was already on the wall. <laughs> um, but I'm saying like a, I'm I usually buy a pound of weed. That's what I do. I buy a pound of weed and I fucking smoke it until it's gone. I buy a half pound. It depends. I haven't found any weed worth worth buying, so I've been buying eight jars, but like a lot at a time. But still, I've been spending so much money, dude. And I've been using at a legal shop, so it's all on my bank account statement. So I don't even want to look mm. at how much fucking money I have spent on weed in three months. Everybody buying weed in shops, you're brave. You're bra- I was smoking eighth up on the way home though, so it's it's more like, uh, is it worth it? But I need weed, and this weed is delicious. I should have bought all of it from. Him. I like that you're relating to us regular folk with this shit now. You got to feel it's the weird to me, dude. I remember the last time I bought a sack and lost out on money. Every time I smoke weed, I gain money back because I'm selling weed. Yeah. So no matter yeah. what, you know what I mean. Until Even when it, I lose, I win. Yeah. Until I, and I watched Training Day last <laughs> night. Exactly. I watched Training Day at. 1 30 in the morning last night and then i watched total recall oh Arnold schwarzenegger you motherfucker um <clears throat> i i uh ran out of weed if you guys if you guys follow my story times closely when john disappeared i ran out of weed you guys know that and then i met stinky ass dan i went to a house party and i had to buy an eighth of weed and i remember buying the eighth of weed for 50 dollars and going I could have made $300 right now and smoked this eight for free. And I was, I remember how fucking infuriated I was. I was so mad. And that's the last time I ever let myself do that until I stopped selling weed again in like 2000, what, 14, 13, I stopped selling weed and I just been buying pounds. So when I buy pounds, I just, it just works out for me. I get a way fucking better deal. And that's how I smoke uh, so freely. That's why I smoke so much because it's mad cheap to me. So, um, Marty, how the fuck do we get on this topic? Sorry, guys. For everyone out there, I feel like I'm all dead and shit. It's What time is it? It's it's 1030 no, at night. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you probably should say that you're doing a goddamn movie marathon last night and got like three hours of sleep. Oh, yeah. I went to bed at seven in the morning. I could not sleep last night. But you, What sleep. time do you usually go to sleep? Bro, there's never been a time. There's never been a schedule in my whole life. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I you stay up late you. as fuck, though. I don't do that shit on purpose. It sucks. Dude. I'll be laying in bed. It was seven in the morning. I went to lay down. It took me forty minutes to lay down and to sleep. Still, mm-hmm. I was just sitting there. Just you guys. Uh, you guys know those movies when uh, like dudes lose their memory and then they're getting it back and everything's <laughs> coming back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they get flashed and you hear that. <laughs> That's my brain when I try to sleep. I see pictures of things that I've done or seen or movies and I'll play, I can play full movies in my head and it's the most annoying shit in the world. I hate it, but it's so fun. Sometimes when I was a kid, it was definitely fun reciting the whole movie and watching it in your head. Cause you wanted to see, I wanted to see if I could do it. That's why I was insomniac. I just be up all night, but yeah, there's no set schedule, Marty. I'm not like you. I wish I was. I I wasn't always like that. I had to force myself. I I wish I was dude. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know. I wish I could. Though. It's the best. Getting into a routine with it is the best, the best thing I've thing ever, ever done. I need to do it, dude. Because I don't even notice sleep. I don't know what day it is. It's the same every day. There's no one being. Because I, I used to like always be tired on some level, and it used to make oh, me a dick. I'm but now tired. my body's just on normal. I oh, wake yeah. up and I'm just awake. Really? Yeah. I'm. I'm. 
There's a reason I think I fall asleep or I get really tired when I drive and I get really tired. I fall asleep when I get haircuts because I can't touch my phone. I can't answer emails. I can't do business and I can't talk. I can't do anything. So I'm driving like the yeah. middle of the day, middle of the fucking day. I have a homie named one. He has 10 kids, right? They're all homeschooled. They all play an instrument. They all do sports and they are homeschooled by his wife. Bless his soul. He's the man, right? He falls asleep everywhere. You know why, Marty? You want to hear yeah, my friend? My yeah. friend one. I'm going to tell you his schedule. My... You ready? He stays up for 48 hours and then sleeps for about three hours, four hours. Stays up 48 hours, sleeps for about three or four hours. Okay. That's his life. And he microdoses every morning, mushrooms nice. and acid. That's goals. Every morning. Whether or not he was awake before the night or not. So no matter what, when morning comes, he's re-upping on his shit because he's like very into that stuff but he's microdose so he's not getting fucked up but he's and I, every time rosie can vouch every time he comes to my house in la and he's get and i know he sits on the couch he's asleep no matter what there's 30 people in the house the second he sits on the couch is done because he's so fucking busy he's yeah. so wor he works I love through that, the night though. through the night dude through I, the night that's the best part because like yours there is no laying there and hoping you fall asleep as soon as you lay down you're asleep and then, like, now, then after you do it a while, then you start waking up, like, a few minutes before the alarm. Yeah, the thing is with me is I always have something to do. There's so much to do. That it was a, it was the stop. biggest thing in my life was to take control of that. And because my clients were in my life for so long that I had to, like, all right, I don't work all-nighters anymore. It was a huge statement. And, I, I mean, I do when I have to, but it's, not on the regular anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying. But sometimes that's the way the fuck it's the way it is, dude. I fucking have to. <laughs> they don't have to. It's just no one else can do it for me. Mm -hmm. That's why. Um Yo, I feel like we're over here on heroin. <laughs> I feel like this is a heroin podcast and everyone's just talking a little slow and we're just kind of chilling. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? Let's wait. Wake up. All right, here we go. Let's go. Wake up. No more sleep. This You're is You're slamming heroin on the mom episode. I was. I was. I was. Uh, my mom doesn't know what kind of person I am. I, I told her that. I feel like you don't know who I am. I, I don't I don't think she does because it's like, mom, if you don't see that and go, yo, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Then you don't have a sense of humor. Because if I saw somebody do that, I go, what the fuck are Just mid-sentence while she's talking. <laughs> yo, I don't ever told you this. All right. I'm going to tell everybody right now. I do this thing. All right. I do this thing. I'm not. I'm actually. Fuck you. I'm mad proud of it. It's fucking funny. So I've done it to a lot of my friends. <laughs> I've almost made a few homies puke over it. Sometimes when people talk too fucking much and they're talking about nothing and it's repetitive and redundant and I don't want to hear it anymore. It's hard for me to go, yo, can we stop talking about this? It's I feel rude. Even though they're rude for talking about nothing and making me stay there. That's rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, so <laughs> this is a thing I do. <laughs> There's a thing I do. How do you get someone to stop talking about something, change the subject, and you not be the dick about it? They're just like, what the fuck? And they forget about it. How do you do it? That was my thing, Marty. How am I going to do it? I love it? that. Because, uh, man. What, what would you say right now? Ear beating is offensive. It's a fucking offensive, bro. Sometimes when you're talking about fucking nothing, I'm yeah. I, I'm like, first of all, I hate small talk on all levels. I hate but it. Beyond small talk, there's getting into ear beating territory where now it's offensive. Yes. So, what would you do right now if you, I was if I was doing that to you and you didn't want me to be mad at you by you going, Thomas? Can you shut the fuck up? Yo, can we change the subject? If you didn't want me to get offended, you needed it to stop immediately and change the subject without you saying a word. How do you do it? Everybody uh, at home, participate. I pull out my my uh, air pookie and start fucking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You do something that makes him go, what the fuck? Uh, so you guys want to know my thing? Start poking your eyeball or something? No. Are you ready, Marty? I do this to a lot of my friends when they keep talking about nothing. Or, or I just do it just to do it just because they know. Like, hey, fool, I wasn't even talking that much. Why are you doing that shit to me? It's just a thing I do. So I'll stare at somebody's eyes. Are you ready, Marty? I've never done it to you because you don't do this to me. Your mom was telling a real story. <laughs> All right. My mom was telling a real story. Here we go. This is what I do to people. I'll stare at them and just do this. 
fucking spit in my hand. Oh god! One disgusting. Oh no! I fake it. I go. <laughs> and I like fake rub it on their face or my own face. But to certain friends, I'll do it for real. And I do it because I do this. I spit in my hand. I stare at their face, and they go, "What the fuck?" And I go, "Yo, you gotta shut the fuck up." And they go, "What are you doing? Why'd you spit? Just tell me to shut up." I'm like, "No, no, no." That's funnier to me. And like, yo, you're disgusting. Oh, I know, but now look, we're on a different subject. Uh-huh. Yeah. The little dude in my head is fucking dying right now. Yeah, that's what the, counts. the thing in me is like, yo, that was hilarious because it's funny. I did it to Charlie. Charlie, uh, the guy that helps me film Dope Zola videos. I, I did it to him while he was talking while we were filming, and I have it on tape where I went, and he just stops. Oh! You could hear him. What the fuck? And he loved. He's like, I'm gonna start doing that to people. I go, right? Sometimes people need to shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. And if they don't think it's funny, they think you're weird. Yeah. And they're not gonna keep talking to you. And that's a win. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. Yeah. Yes, uh, I love it, dude. But I can only do it to like people I know. I don't want to do it to a stranger. That's mean. Yeah. That's mean. Yeah. I wouldn't do it to a stranger. But sometimes, one time, uh, all right, this is gonna get a lot of fans thinking, was it me? It wasn't you. One time, there was one guy at an event that talked to me for so long, Marty, while I was running my oh, booth. I can imagine. Which is cool. Like a, yeah. I've had people talk to me for a long time. It's great. But he started getting redundant and repetitive. And this motherfucker talked to me. I looked at my phone. It was almost 30 minutes. Almost 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I'm standing there like, oh, really? Trying not to get mad. And for some reason in my head, I went, knock this motherfucker out. Why did my brain do that? Uh-huh. It's so he would stop talking. Yeah. That's logical. It. That's it. My my brain went, or you could just be like, yo, I'm busy. Uh-huh. Yo, what if I killed this motherfucker. Right I was now? thinking like, <laughs> you are wasting my time so hard. You're now rude. Uh-huh. You see all these people waiting to try to oh, talk to me. That's even there worse. was a line of people like, yo, can you get a picture? I'm like, yeah, one sec, one sec. I felt weird. I felt rude. Like, yo, can we stop your conversation right now? Yeah. Because, you know, I'll be taking... There's fucking, common decency yeah, there's, That's what it your was. Your time and the people behind you. And I, I, I'm like, dude, I'll talk to you. For, I'll keep talking to you, but I, you're now talking to the cashier while there's a line behind you. Nice. That's exactly what you were doing. Like, you're rude. You're fucking rude. But the guy did it to me once, and I remember I told Rosie, like, I almost punched him. I felt so, like played that i wanted to punch him yeah. what an illogical thought <laughs> a half hour is a long time for a fucking ear beating and i'm running the booth yeah that means rosie's taking all the orders by herself it's crazy if yeah. i'm talking uh, i was pissed um how the fuck do we get oh the spit get thing. ready for these comedy yeah. shows because that, that's fun. no that's different that, I mean, i'm not sitting there selling shirts exactly having to pack yeah. bowls for people you can dude, arrange pictures so people can take yeah. pictures and i'm filming marty He's feel myself. Remember that. Oh, so remember doing shit. all of these things and going, fuck, okay, the 20s are in this side of my pocket. The 10s are in this side of my pocket. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Then I got to go do my rounds and take pictures and do my uh-huh. shit and, you know, record. So me and Rosie would switch off at the events for about 45 minutes and I'd come back. because I can't leave her there though. This wasn't, this didn't happen to be the same event where you were falling all over the fucking bags and fell on top of the woman, nope. right? No. I don't think we talked about it on this podcast, man. <laughs> I did some thing once. I got too fucked up. I got too fucked up once. I'm not going to even talk about it yet. We'll talk about another solo podcast. It's too long. I can't even get into it. If you want to do it, it's called Edibles Gone Wrong, and it's on Dope Zola channel on YouTube. Go watch it. I ruined the woman's life. You told me the story organically, and I'm like, is this a story oh, that's, time? That's right. And I went, I haven't done a story time on this, have I? So ridiculous. Remember? We were talking about it. I brought the story up to you and go, I should do a story time on that. There's a lot of those. That I yeah, start talking yeah. and go, I haven't told this story, I don't think. Dude, a lot of things have happened to me and people go, how are th- so many things happened to you? I think you're lying. It's just the way you tell the story, man. Yo, I fucking fell and ate shit today and scraped my knee. Yo, so this is what happened. This morning I woke up and I was real fucking tired, right? And I had this fucking song stuck in my head. I'm trying to get you to where I was. And I was fucking walking by this dude and he stunk like shit. You know, piss, but like in a bar. You know what I mean? Like you have to describe it. Like that scene in Reservoir Dogs. Nah, man, you go in. What kind of soap was it? Was that powdery shit in high school? Was that liquid stuff? You know what I mean? When he's trying to tell Tim Roth how to, how to tell the story to gangsters. Like, you just got to tell the story, man. What were you doing while it happened? Can I get you inside my head while I while you listen to me? 
And if you can, then I win. And I'm happy with that. I just want people to feel like they're there. That's why people like music. That's why people like Uh, comedy. That's that's why Mac Dre is one of my favorite rappers. Everything is descriptive and I can see everything he's saying. It's, I fucking love him. Yeah. If you can paint a picture with your words, that's what people, I heard somebody say like people are, it's in our like biology to like storytelling. That's one of the oldest things people do. It's the oldest thing of all time. I think it says water fight, fight, water, fuck cat taxes (laughs) and taxes in some way, shape or form. Okay. People been getting taxed since the dawn of fuck. Dude, fuck. You know what's crazy, guys? I was thinking, you know, gangs tax people and shit or uh, certain na- neighborhoods. And I thought, the government taxes me 53%. That's like a go- That's like me buying a pound. I sell it and go, yo, yo, yo. You know the apartment p- complex guy? Like, yeah, he needs half your money. I'm like, fuck you. All right, well, you're going to go to jail. Shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what the government did and went. You knew about it, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. That's what they did. Have a good day, man. Fifty fifty two percent. You're good. But at least when things go wrong, like a pandemic, they have a. Plan well, not even for that. It. You got to remember, I'm driving on a road. Who paid for it? We got to. If not, I'm driving on dirt roads. So that's why I'm like taxes. Cool. I'll pay them. Another thing is I'm happy to pay my taxes now because that means I'm doing legal mm-hmm. things and I'm Fuck not going to go to jail and I'm not going to look over my fucking shoulder. I love it. It's the best thing ever. My bank account is clean. <sighs> I hit an 800 this week on my credit oh, I score. Saw I saw it. I was fucking tripping out. 804. Don't be saying 800. Yeah. 804. I saw it. <laughs> it was 804. It'll, it'll take you a week to ruin that shit and 15 years to build it back up. That's a true statement. Just like a kid. This shit is evil. Yeah. Dude, yeah. um, so back onto this, I, I don't remember what the fuck we're talking about, and I, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to make these people that are driving right now wake the fuck up. So wake the fuck up, all right? Here we go. I know I've been talking kind of slow and shit. That's because I'm on three hours of sleep, and it's 11 o'clock at night, and I'm tired. But I'm fucking here, and I'm awake, and I'm smoking this GMO. It's delicious. Here we go. Let's start talking. Podcast. Boom. What are my other notes that I'm pretending not to look at? Podcast. Don't worry. What are my other two bullet points? <laughs> right? I know. I didn't even do that many bullet points. Yo, wasn't there... We did a bullet point for a, st- a guest one time, and it said, drugs. Talk about them. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was for a solo podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm writing it like I'm talking to myself. That's and why I put it. was like, <laughs> wrap it up. At the ending. Close podcast. Wrap it up. Come on, fool. That's from... Uh, Wrap it up, B. Wrap it up, B. That's from a Chappelle show. Uh-huh. When they put the box down. Wrap it up. That's why. Every, half the things I say, I think, are just from references, man. Like, a lot of things that I say are just references. New Chappelle, Chappelle podcast, son. I was, see. You, when you're telling me about? Okay. Yeah. Dave Chappelle's got a podcast. The Midnight Miracle. I fu- Ty Lip Quali. Yeah. Yo, all three of these fool. Most stuff. Dave Chappelle to Luke Pauly. You know Yassine Bey is uh, most up. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I see him right there. No, I'm just trying to read the thing. Are you fucking serious? That's crazy. The one thing I really loved about the Chappelle show is he brought out artists Quali at the end. and all that. He brought That's, him out at the end. Remember bro. when Kanye came out and Common and all that? Uh, what was it? My my hood, my heart, my the, that, that's the song, right? <laughs> yeah, the fucking yeah. Kanye one. I think it was uh-huh. with Most Death. That's on the fucking College Dropout album, right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the first album, one of the first albums I ever had burned. It's where I almost died in Tahoe. Mm. I listened to Kanye God, West damn. and Jada Kiss and Eight Ball. I respect man. Jada Kiss one of my favorite all time rappers. I respect you said that. <laughs> yeah, dude, my friend Anthony Avila, he burned them for me. He burned CD, uh, three CDs for me, and then we drove to, to Tahoe, and then my grandpa Tom almost odoyled everybody. We were in a van and almost went off a cliff. Bro. I just showed my kids that scene from Tommy Boy. Ew, ew, here comes the meat wagon. <laughs> Wait, what? We're not from Tommy Boy, from Black Sheep. Yeah, from Black Sheep. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, from Black yeah. I'm like, Tommy Boy, well, I'm searching all of it in my head. Like, no, 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 no. That ain't in it. <laughs> yeah. So fucking funny. Black Sheep's great. Yeah. Hello, Washington is something I scream a lot when I jump into pools. <laughs> I just fucking love it. All time. Ready? Wake the fuck up. The best fall scene of any movie of all time is Black Sheep. Chris Farley falls down that damn hill, and I need to know. Did he do that himself? No. Are you sure? Because no, it fucking I mean, looked like it. <laughs> I doubt it, it. It straight up looked like Chris uh-huh. Farley. Hang on. Small 
branch is nobody home. <laughs> and he fucking goes again. Yo, he. The uh, scene where the bat came into the cabin and he's like, it's Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> it's, in it's in my head. Yo, David Spade, man. I love his ass so So hold on. Much. They made Tommy Boy and they were just like, this is so amazing. We got to run this back and Run it again. After. It was the. It was the. Kevin Hart and fucking rock thing to go. Uh -huh. <gasps> this is golden more <laughs> like black sheep. Except these ones are like, you know, comedy classics. I haven't seen all the rock and Kevin Hart movies, but the rock's the man. Come on. How are you going to not fuck with the rock? He's just, he's like the Barack Obama of actors. He just got a genuine, like, you don't know. You hate him. Nope. Nobody hates him. Everybody loves him. There we go. That's pretty much what he's doing. And, uh, you know, Kevin Hart, he's just funny. I always think of Kevin Hart from fucking 40 uh, Year Old Virgin. I'm going to come back in here. Clap, yo. That means hell a little. <laughs> yo, that scene is so sick. I think he has a green shirt on. I think it's a soccer shirt. But he's a green shirt on, I remember. Um, I don't know why I said that. I'm just trying to process it in my head. Um, oh, yeah. Dave Chappelle. Damn, see, these tangents and rants are terrible here we go so the podcast i have my note over there but the note's gone so i wasn't sure what to do here we go the podcast guys marty and i are super stoked to say like we uh i don't know if you heard in the fucking manscaped ad last week but we were on a trial run with manscaped everything did great so thank you guys for doing the code clicking the links thank you so much because they just booked us through the whole end of the year fucking awesome we got a whole end of the year. Marty, should I talk about other things we have in the works or not? Because by the time this comes out, they're either going to be yes or no. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's important to let the fans know that there's a lot of fucking shit cooking right now. And 13 episodes in, I've worked on some of Go. the biggest podcasts out there, and none of them... 13 episodes in had the shit that we have cooking right now in terms of being able to sustain this and keep it going through ad partners and stuff like that brand deals but uh yeah it's amazing it's really we're just super grateful and it's like it had to go like that and we're just super happy that it did and it's it feels amazing yes marty gave you the nice guy thing yo <laughs> motherfucker tell him tell him tell him what's going on who, we're working on some shit right now. We got Manscaped uh, locked in for us, guys. And we talked to you about stereo. The guy coordinating everything passed away. So we're just waiting on that. We're not going to rush him. Stereo is the part. So you guys know that. Just so we're not just like, well, yeah, we're taking an ad here and there. Give us money. That's not what we're doing. The guy fucking died. So please be nice about it and don't rush anything. Like, yo, where the fuck is it at? Just chill, okay? But Manscaped to the end of the year. Marty, take it away. Take it away. And you know who I'm talking about? Save him. Save him for last. <laughs> Let him know what we've been doing. Let him know what we've been doing this next coming week. <laughs> I don't know how much I really want to put out there. All right, see, that's how. That's why I wanted to just let it go to you. I don't know. Let's let's just say that I've been in this industry for a long time now, and I mean, we we're just working every connection we have. We have the statistics within our first dozen episodes to go after big ass corporations right now because our numbers right now, because of the fans, are that of a big time established podcast. But because it's yeah, new, thank you guys. that we're in this window of it being new right now, where it's like. These companies want to probably get on board because they they see what what the potential is and what it could be, and we're super confident in that. So it's like we're only entertaining deals that are authentic to Thomas and to the show. Mm -hmm. People that you know, we've turned down deals. We've turned down we tur turned down a deal yesterday all the time. Yeah, so <laughs> all the fucking time. You know, we're I mean, they would have paid us. Yeah, part. we're in this thing for the long run, but we've been I've uh, been a part of this before, so we. We know what we need to do to sustain it, but the fact that it's all coming together quickly, we'll see. You know, right now we got Manscaped locked in, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So Marty went all the way around that again and still didn't say any of the fucking things <laughs> that we're talking about. I know we shouldn't talk about them too much. I don't want to say. I don't want. I don't want to say shit until they're actually locked in. And these see, that's why I let it go to you. Like yeah, I don't. Yeah. I never really talk about things before they're there, but let's just say it, guys. It's fucking crazy and badass and awesome. And if so. <sighs> we'll finally get paid. And I know people are like, wait, you're just doing for money? Suck my dick. We put up all the money for everything. It's expensive. Rent's not cheap for a warehouse. All right. It's it costs money. So yes, guys, uh 
Marty and I, thank you. Thank you. Just want to say thank you. Thank you because you guys crush it on these fucking ads. The stuff we, the, the, the ads we take, you guys really go do the clicks. You guys are really buying the shit using our code. It's fuck yeah. Thank you. And shout out to you, YouTube. Thank you for letting us fucking advertise in our videos. I know one of you motherfuckers out there is watching it from YouTube. Thank you guys. And we want to say thanks. Stop, you know, like demonetizing our videos. That'd be sick. But I, we still appreciate you guys letting us be here. And we're going to get that 100,000 plaques soon. Real soon. Real fucking soon. So thank you guys. I just want to. The vision. Just, ah, I mean, yes. this is how we parlay this. We The next move is two episodes a week. Yep. And then pay-per-view episodes and then live episodes. Yes, guys. We're trying to do some live shows. The world's opening back up. So live show. The live podcast. Oh, fuck yeah. That sounds bomb. We can legally take mushrooms if we want on stage and just get fucking shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you imagine yeah. that? Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. We'll see, man. That That's... That's the trajectory, though, and we do it through views and fan support. It's the only way. Yeah, that's the only way this works, guys. They look at the numbers and go, holy shit, you guys are doing great. Like, the fans. That's the fucking nine solid year our whole loyal pitch, fans. Our only pitch is our fan support. Yep. That's how we do everything. Like, Our fans are on it. Our fans are there. We're They're authentic. Active. It's real. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We're not creeps. We're going to over-deliver every fucking time because that's what we do. So, yeah. That's what's going on right now with the podcast. I have the note there, so I just wanted to leave it there. Um, on to the next thing. Let's just keep this moving. Uh, what's, what time are we at right now? 40, about 43. Okay, cool. Another update, guys. We're trying not to do three to four hour podcasts anymore because it takes Marty too long to edit. And the import, export, upload time was 32 hours total to upload the four hour episode. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So we're trying to cut them back, but like I said, we're trying to make it to two times a week. But for now, we're trying to make keep them under two hours, hour and a half, two hours. We're not trying to do three, even though I can do, I'll fucking do ten hours. We'll stay here all day, but we can't do that to ourselves. All right, we. It's just it's it's becoming a problem. It doesn't the files, the the storage, it doesn't work. So we're trying to keep it lower. That's why I want to start talking about the more mm -hmm. of my bullet points and not just dragging my and to have them so far at a more consistent time too. Yeah. Two o'clock every Monday instead of like uploading still, still uploading, probably about eight o'clock tonight. Like that shit sucks, man. Uh, it makes us look, it's not that it makes us look stupid. I just feel like I'm not organized enough. Like why? It's because it's just uploading so long. They're 4K cameras. What are the podcasts, you know, do four 4K cameras, switching, not doing live switching, cutting in shit, doing intros, outros. Uh, you know, the I've ad seen reads. a lot of other podcasts out there very inspired though since we dropped. Good. Yeah, exactly. Good. Step it up. That's fucking awesome. And we're not saying like we're better than you. That's no. never. We subtly never wanted to come shit. in and let pe show people through yeah. our actions that we're taking our the look. We're of taking it serious. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking it serious, man. Cinematic is what we do. If you're a fan before, you know, our videos are fucking commercials or Apple commercials. They look fucking awesome because we take our time. It takes. We're going to do a thing. Remember that episode of the South Park? Was it uh, six days to air? I think it's called. They show you from when they get the concept of the show until it airs on Comedy Central. We want to do that to show you how much time that to go. Truly, it's like how it's made. Podcast episode. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. that's, that's six days of work. Mm -hmm. That's six days of work, man. Yeah. It's crazy, but it's true. But I'm we're building the Drastic Graphics team out to support it as the yes. podcast grows, which is going to just let me focus more. Yeah. So that's where we're at, guys. Um, but like I said, for time purposes and just for your attention spans, I, I feel, like I said, I feel like, so, guys, <laughs> what's the next bullet point? That's how I feel right now. But I'm needing to wake the fuck up. Here we go. Marty is going on a trip next month, guys. So we're going to be filming more episodes to backlog them, have them edited. Marty's going on his trip. Ten-year anniversary? Yeah. Ten-year so, married anniversary? Uh -huh. or Ten-year marriage, marriage anniversary, yeah. Can real quick before we get on to anything, can you please, 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 please tell everyone how you proposed to your wife? And no, 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 it's awesome. Can you tell them what Seinfeld bullshit happened to you? <laughs> Yo, guys, I can't wait. Ready, ready, uh, Jasper. It wasn't. It's a clip. Ready? Uh, Here's a clip. Go. It wasn't that. I mean, okay, it was very Seinfeld esque. In yes, that, it was. It, it was. It was. Cause all right, now that I really think about it, it Everything was about it all right first of all april's aunt had to basically buy her ring for me which was like i wasn't going to be able to get her a fucking ring if she didn't help me out with it and she yeah. did which was a huge deal so we got her this engagement ring from fucking zales all right the thing was blinging it wasn't a great ring it was <laughs> her aunt thing was blinging all right her aunt's legit it was a real ring 
It wasn't some bootleg shit. And the fucking diamonds kept falling out of it. It happened like three, I'm like, what? Three times. Multiple times. I, it, it turned into a real situation where I was fucking freaking out on the people at Zell's. Before you even gave it to her? Uh, I guess the, the, this is... No, 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 no. This is afterwards. This is, I'm kind of venting about this pre. Okay, I was going to say, hey, about it. don't be trying to get around the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, don't no, do no. that Now that me. I think about it, but yeah, that was a fucking issue. But anyway, story. yeah, I thought I was surprising her, but I really wasn't. So I booked, we're, listen, we're from Buffalo. All <laughs> Buffalo, right? New York. Buffalo is a small ass little town, okay? <laughs> we're next to one of the seven wonders of the world in Niagara Falls. How okay? far? How far Half is Niagara hour. Falls? Okay. Half hour, real close. So I had her aunt, book us i'm pretty sure i didn't even book it i was broke as fuck at the time a hotel at the niagara falls sheridan <laughs> little to know it's just next to the airport in fucking buffalo <laughs> yo you gotta build it you gotta build it uh, there's it's like not much more to it in a bong no it's we start so. driving to the fucking hotel and i'm trying to be all <laughs> mysterious about where we're going like we're going to niagara falls and i'm like Marty? We're still in Buffalo. I got the map quest going. Say it like, again. Say it. Marty booked a hotel called Niagara Falls Sheraton because <laughs> Niagara Falls is there. But it's just called that and it's in Buffalo by the airport. <laughs> <laughs> you try to do this romantic ass thing. <laughs> it's McDowell's. We don't have sesame seeds on our buns. Uh, That's what you just did. Hold on, yeah. continue. Continue. What happened? You get there. So we we had my daughter with us, who was probably two or three at the time. And this, I mean, literally, this this. And you're just going to a hotel to chill. Climatic, right? She doesn't know you're proposing. Yeah, no, she thinks we're just hanging out, going to a hotel to like let the kids swim in a pool and have an overnight or some shit. All right. She bought that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah, like her aunt. I mean, we used to do stuff like that once in a while. I guess. Okay. 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 But. Yeah, so I kind of like arranged with this. We're just, li- now that I think about it, we're in the fucking hotel restaurant at the fucking how Buffalo many, Sheridan. How many people are there besides you? One other table of people. <laughs> it's noon <laughs> on just a random day, too. It's not even like, this isn't for a holiday or anything. Like, yeah, there's one other people. It's 1230 in the airport? afternoon in the fucking <laughs> Someone's probably smoking hotel. a cigarette in the building. Could have been. Could have been. I, I arranged with the staff like I was fucking, uh, you know, uh, give me a good example. I was going to say, what example are you going to use? I, was, I don't Ironically, got it. my mind went to cheaters. Like they're like, fucking, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I arranged with the staff like. Uh, Ferris Bueller? You're going to. I don't know. I don't fucking. I know. can't think of anybody that did some suave shit like that besides like 007. Well, I, well, it wasn't too suave because I had one of the fucking waiters video it, and I don't have the fucking video. All right, on their phone? No, on my camera. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. You'll find it one day. It's but great. yeah, it could. But he um. You know, it was honestly all a giant blur from the moment that like <laughs> homeboy came around with the camera. I think he might have bust out the fucking ring or something. Maybe I don't even really. You remember. never told me this much. I don't even. It was honestly a blur. I, I got down on, on one knee. I said what I was going to say. April's like in her mind. She's like, we're in the fucking <laughs> hotel restaurant here. But I had to at that point. We were too deep. Like yeah. it was time to fucking no propose. turning back. Yeah, like I don't care if this is not the place I thought it was. Yeah, I'm fucking so doing it. Yeah, Our food sucks. So Fuck we got a slow sucks. clap from the one table, literally, and then we just went back to our meal and shit. It's <laughs> so uneventful. And shit. Just anticlimactic. Yeah. She just said, "Yeah." I yeah. guess so right now. Then, she yeah. just looked around like, whoa, this turns weird. I so we this is food. where uh, I get proposed to at, I guess, in life. It's not like April cared. It's just really no. funny to hear yeah, it's it. It's funny and go, to hear it back. Oh, that's fucking great. Because there was no, it wasn't that's like great. here, like you could take somebody to a hotel in LA and there's some shit and have it be a nice. I know, but the fact I, I'll like keep thinking is like <laughs> you're like planes, trains, and automobiles. Have you ever seen that movie when yeah. things just get shittier? Like, yo, MapQuest. <laughs> We're in Buffalo. Like, yeah. they got our yeah. names at the front. This is the place. This is the hotel, this but it's not in Niagara place. Falls. It's not by the Seven Wonder of the World. <laughs> yeah, and then so uh, our actual first trip to Niagara Falls. <laughs> I tried to surprise her with a trip to the actual falls for like her birthday. Mm -hmm. And I kept having this string of events where I would try to plan something and then somebody would fucking blow it for me the moment before it happened like probably five or six times. So like, bam, that happened. 
you know, that we, as soon as we get there, we, we get stuck in the elevator for like an hour, just mid elevator, just stuck. You're, you don't watch Seinfeld? And then they, oh yeah, of course. Okay. Cause Seinfeld. you sound like, you sound like your life is Seinfeld. I don't know. I'm just kind of highlighting the low lights here. I'll uh, Ryan sick. What kind of pants you got on right now? <laughs> yeah, I do. Some honeydew yeah, pants. Yeah. I see them. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> the thing about Niagara falls is the funny part. I don't it's know if wet. I told you this. It, what? Yeah. You got Niagara Falls, Buffalo, ghetto as fuck. And then you got Niagara Falls, Canada, which is like a clean little Vegas. So what? we were on, I didn't realize that either. You're from there. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. You don't inherently know about Niagara Falls if you're from Buffalo. I would, I assumed as a human that That's Niagara true. Falls, New York had some commerce built up around the fucking <laughs> some falls. commerce he there's says. one and it, it might have changed at this point but there some was one commerce. hotel there was one hotel and you got and one a, side face a, in the falls and you got one side face house? in the fucking hood was it a house <laughs> no i'm talking about the hotel was the, it a house but it was made into a hotel no it was a legit this okay. was a okay a I've native american owned casino hotel Oh shit! Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was sick. We, man, shit! I thought I was balling at being at the fucking hotel. Marty got his tall tee on. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I was this, fucking. This place is uh, this place is crunk. <laughs> yeah. And what else are you saying? Like 2007. I don't know. I probably nailed it. I probably nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still I say shit it. is crunk. Yeah. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I love it. Um, so that's what happened to Marty. It was fucking. The first time he told me that story was amazing. So, yeah. Um. But anyway, 10-year anniversary coming up. We're going to goddamn Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> going to Hawaii. He's going to mother... So that's why we're going to do some more episodes. So when he's gone, we can be posting, premiering, doing everything. Shout out to Deanna because she's about to take over when you're yep. gone. Fuck yeah. Well, I knew she could. When She held the fort down while I was filming on a sports show. Six days in a row, she fucking held the fort down. I'm like, all right. You're on go. it. Good shit. Try um, by fire. Guys, as I said earlier, I'm on heroin. Um, I'm trying to keep this not like... So what's next? I, I feel it. I don't know why, but I feel it. I'm trying my best. Do you guys remember when I talked about in one of the podcast episodes where the dentist shaved my fucking teeth and then the machine broke? So he had to use a manual version of it. Marty, can you bring up that beautiful bean footage? <laughs> so you guys ready here? This is what you're watching. That's what they were using on my tooth. And there it is. There's the mini saw. Can so you back it up a little awful. bit? Back it up I a little can, bit. This is like Hold on, you gotta remember, they did all of the fronts of my teeth, top and bottom. And he broke the thing broke two teeth <laughs> in. Like like one or two teeth in. You just keep looping it. Keep looping it. I'm telling you, bro. Keep looping that part. That's what they did to me, guys. I fucking saw this on TikTok and go, no way. This is a video of what they did to my teeth. All I did was try to not grind my teeth. That's what I got Invisalign for because I grind my teeth. And they're over here doing this to me, guys. So that's what they did to me. I finally found it, all right? I found a video to show you what I mean by a miniature saw. That shit was medieval. And that's what they did to I me. I didn't think manual sawing of teeth was just standard. There's procedure. one. Or even just fucking just sawing. That was the worst. That fucking hurts, man. Because they have to hit your gums. If you notice, they were on her gum. Her gum's red as shit right there. So... On to the next thing. I wanted to show you guys that. If you haven't seen it, it's called The Dentist Shaved My Teeth. Go check out the, right here. Dope as usual podcast clips channel. There it is. We just hit 22,000 this morning. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you. Um, can you go to the next link? Guys, I do. You guys know this. I do something called story time on the Dope as Yola channel. And I did something called Deals Gone Wrong. I did that a couple months ago. Marty, I don't know how. It's only a few months old. It's already at 1.5 million. I noticed that. What? the fuck you guys are the shit thank you so much in there I, I, a lot of my stories i get people talking shit and like yo it's fake i don't give a fuck you guys ready i told a story about um it's on deals gone wrong and it's about yo did i tell it on the podcast the most sophisticated drug dealer ever the podcast about the uh about I think so Okay, I think I did talk about the podcast where I talked about where I went to this, I met this dealer and he had like 10,000 pounds plus on hand. Like dope shit. Craziest things I've ever seen. Dopest prices ever. And I said it was like a like an old, what did I say? An old grocery store in the middle of a town. It was like a grocery store, a huge fucking building. And it was like a drug superstore. You just go in and get anything you want. Marty, can you play back that motherfucking clip real quick? Can you, can you play back that clip? All, no, no, this clip. 
Just start it from the beginning. Oh, you have to refresh the page. Refresh the page. I don't want to get us in trouble because there's music right there. You see that giant building? Yeah. The voiceover on the fucking news. 31 people got arrested right here. They had that building and they called it a drug super center. That's what the cops called it when they walked in. That huge building was all drugged out. That's like if you knocked out these walls. Yep. And started just loading it up with safes metal walls and started putting hundreds of thousands of pounds in there that's what these guys were doing that's what that's about i like when i was trying to tell you guys like yo that's fake yo it's not fake and that's not the only one and I'm, that's not the one i went to i don't even know where fulton is i've never been there but it's north county is it oh well that, that one's in north county guys i've never been there but the one i'm talking about is nowhere near here but uh they're real and i was trying to explain to you guys like no it's real. I've been to one other place kind of like that. And um, yeah, deals gone wrong. That's on the Dope Ziola channel. If you want to watch that, that's what I was talking about. That's what I was referring to, guys. This is it. Large drug bust. There it is. Um, can you bring up my motherfucking notes real quick? Here we go. So I got those done. Deals gone wrong. That's what I was talking about. I got to tell you guys a small story. Real quick. Real small story, all right? It's probably going to take forever. Fuck. Let me try to be more precise. Let me get to the story. Let me tell you it all. Get inside my brain real quick. Seinfeld, Larry David shit. This is Kirby Enthusiasm mixed with some bullshit. You're channeling a lot of shit right now. I see I'm it. I'm thinking of it all. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to like, you remember in the mask where uh, at the end, uh, what is his name? Darian. Dorian. Dar- Dorian. <laughs> Marty, I love you so much for knowing his fucking name right now. I love you so much right now. You can now. count on me for that. Yeah. Oh, but <laughs> Dorian. Yes, thank you. That's his name. Remember at the end? Why? All of that, just to reference what you said. Are you just channeling things? Acid, mom. Thanks. That's my brain just working. Ready? Remember at the end when they shoot the shit at him? He goes. Yeah. That's how I get ready for stories. I just go, oh, what was it? All right, Aaron, what else did you do? Okay, all right. Ah! And I just fucking be a start. Yeah, story go. time intro. And you just see like a bunch of memories, like little fucking, and you see her. And then I was like this. Oh, and I was like, that, 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 and, ah. that's amazing. Don't do that to me if we can't do that. What do you now mean I'm, if we can't do that? How do we do that? How do you how do you do that on editing? You hire people that can do that shit. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. So, yeah. Uh, yo, Netflix. Come on, get with the program. Ari Shafir had that shit going. Get with the program. Um, okay. Okay. Get with the fucking program. Give us some money and give us a show. <laughs> All, All right, right. We're just going <laughs> to fucking come out and ask for that. I'll tell yeah, you what you're going to say it. right now. All right. <laughs> Netflix, let's throw some stats. We did the stats the other day. Story time. 54 episodes. Yeah. 40 plus million fucking views. 1.5 million mm. thumbs ups on these series. 40 million views on my series. It's only 54 episodes. Are you guys ready? All of that number while being shadow banned. To I'm death. shadow banned to death on YouTube. Shadow banned means they don't show your page to anybody. They just have to type your name in to see it. So imagine if it wasn't shadow banned, Marty. Be yeah. 100, 100 million views. Yeah. Wow. It's fucking amazing. So, and I know it's not like you. You sound like a cocky bitch. Fuck you, man. I'll just say the numbers for Netflix to go, wow, he's very confident mm-hmm. yeah come on man numbers are numbers is, is all that anybody cares about these companies get, yeah, will put up true. hundreds of thousands that's of true. millions of dollars to but, get these numbers and a lot of them it's not easy to do even when you throw that much fucking money at it yep. you can throw superstars and money all we this could shit, put story but, time on netflix and people would watch them of course so if you have a pro- given, little that, bit of production money it takes one camera yeah. some time Netflix, what are you doing? Yeah, no, the quality yeah. that it's at right now is ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. It's actually approved. That's the, the yeah. his camera is mm-hmm. ready, is like ready. Yeah. So that's an approved camera. We're Netflix ready. But yeah. So how do we get on that topic? <sighs> Inhaling stories. Yep. Dorian. <sighs> Cameron Diaz, son. Cameron Diaz, I'm sorry. I always say it like I think she got her body switched out after that movie. Because mm-hmm. she doesn't there was look something the same. different going on. She didn't look movie, the same after. Sure. She looked yeah. like Jessica Rabbit and then to yeah, like she did. to normal Cameron Diaz, which is still hella pretty. Yeah. I'm just saying. She went from car show model to like yoga teacher. <laughs> 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 and I'm not fucking lying. And I'm not no. bending the truth. Here we go. <sighs> Let me tell you about this story. Real quick, a small story. Is if it's a quick story, I hope. Ready? I gotta tell you it all. 
ready, go. Last year I bought a uh, iMac, 27 inch iMac. I spent like 2,300 bucks on it. And I was like, damn, that's a lot of fucking money. That's a pound of weed. Shit. Here we go. Bought it. Love it. Super slow. It's super slow. When I edit, it's fucking give me the spinning wheel with the fucking rainbow shit, the rainbow reel. Anyway, I talked to Marty. I talked to Charlie. They're both computer guys. They suggest I get the new, um, if I want to stick with Mac, I get the uh, the 13 inch MacBook with the M1 chip. Yeah. Yeah, with the M1 chip. Correct. <laughs> you ran back. Correct. <laughs> yes. So um, I got it. This is what I did. You ready for my story, my Larry David bullshit? Are you guys fucking ready? This is, I know it's so minuscule and it's not that big of a deal. It's just like. <sighs> These things happen every day though. And kind every of day to me. Off. And I tell you about them and go, yeah. you would never believe what just happened to me. No, no, it happened. Completely real. I called you twice that day because I thought I got it fixed and then went, hey. No, you FaceTime me from the, from the Apple from the store. Apple store. Yeah. Is it ready? So I pick up my fucking computer and I walk, uh, I, I get out of my car, go to the mall. I pick up my fucking computer. I go to the, well, I, I think it's the Glenda Mall, the Glenda Galleria. I go to the Glenda Galleria, park my fucking car, take my MacBook. I'm walking my MacBook from the parking lot to the elevator for some reason. And I know this is stupid. It's small. But well, hold yeah. on. You're talking about your giant iMac, right? It's heavy. You're calling it a MacBook. You're, you're oh, people. sorry. Okay. Giant iMac uh, desktop You got thing. the 27-inch The big-ass one. Yeah. So it's not like it's. It's pretty fucking heavy. It's just yeah. those corners are sharp. And I was yeah. thinking, am I that much of a bitch? But this shit kind of hurts. Yeah, no, you need a case to carry that. Okay, shit. so <laughs> I'm there and I'm waiting about eight minutes for the like, an elevator. And there's an escalator right there and there's stairs. And I'm like, I'm lazy. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. It's going to come open. Those doors going to open. I know they are. So I'm sitting there just regretting like I could have been downstairs already. So that's how my shit started off. Me procrastinating and being a lazy bitch. So I finally get in the elevator. I go down. I go to the. I called the Apple Store and asked if they would let me do it. If they let me go and trade my computer in, they're only gonna give me seven hundred thirty bucks. It's eight months old. I paid twenty two hundred dollars for it. So I was gonna say, "Fuck, I'll take the loss and get the new MacBook because I need something that's gonna work with the M one chip." Sorry, I know the story is fucking getting slow. Here we go. <laughs> so I go to the fucking store. Go to the Apple Store and the fucking next to the Glenda Gallery at the Americana, right? And I go, hey, man, I'm here with the thing. He goes, what are you talking about? We don't take that. We don't do trade in here. I go, yeah, I just talked to you, man. And he goes, no, you didn't. And I'm like, oh, fuck you. All right, here we go. Fuck. Where is my appointment? Oh, no, I go, you told me not to make an appointment. You said just to walk in. And he goes, we would never say that. I go, you just. So I'm already like holding this thing going, but you told me not to make an appointment. You said to walk in. It's not busy. He goes, nope, not me. And then he goes, I think you're at the wrong Apple store. Go, there's only one Apple store. He goes, no, nah, there's one in the mall too. I go, fuck. It's on the same street. Yep, of course it's not that one. But you guys, you guys know the Americana to the other side of the mall where Target's at, if you know what I'm talking about, it's like three or 400 yards to get to the door and then you have to find it in the mall and that mall is two to three blocks long. So, and I know it's like, you're lazy, you can't walk. You got to remember the fucking irritation. So I go back to the elevator and there is a fucking line. So I can go back to my car and drive those two, three blocks. I'm not going to carry my fucking computer. So I go to the elevator and there's a fucking line. I mean a line. And I'm looking at all these people like, wow, I am just going to take the escalator because I can't get back up the stairs. I mean, there was no stairs. Sorry. There was an escalator and there was an elevator. I said stairs earlier. Anyway, damn, this fucking story is getting all out of hand. Ready? I go to the escalator and the escalators are blocked off because there's maintenance because they're broken. Can't take the escalator. Can't get in the elevator. Can't get to my car. Marty, I can now not get to my car. Physically. Okay. So now Can't get tripping. to my car unless I walk around the entire block and start walking up each driveway of the fucking parkade yep. with a MacBook in my hand. This is this is shit that happens when you have kids, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> so if I had kids on top of that, no. I'd be losing my uh, mind. Yeah. So me and Rosie, I'm looking at her like, of course. Of course, the escalators are blocked off. Can't use them. They, hold on. They weren't blocked off, Marty, when I got out of the elevator to the Apple store. Mm. By the time I walked to the Apple store and came back, the maintenance people blocked them off. Two minutes. Okay. I just missed the maintenance. So I'm like, of course, the maintenance guys <laughs> came while I went to the wrong <laughs> Apple store for three fucking solid minutes, talked uh, to the guy and left. Came back and went, oh, uh, okay. So my car's up there. 
can't get to it unless I want to wait for all these elevator people, and I'm not. And it took me 10 minutes to fucking get my own elevator. And it's COVID, yeah. So. And, 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 and I don't want to be around all these people. I have to go to the mall to begin with. I don't want to go to the fucking mall. Anyway, here we go, guys. Sorry, let's get this fucking story rolling. So I say, Rosie, we now have to walk this fucking MacBook, I mean, Mac, uh, iMac to the Apple store. And she goes, of course we do. I go, yep, let's go. So I start walking. I walk all the way to the Apple store. I get there, right? I talk to the guy and I go, hey, you told me not to make an appointment to come in. He goes, we would never say that. And I just put my head down again. And I go, dude, I just walked this this computer over here to trade it in. You guys said you have it in stock. Oh, I don't even think we have stock. And I'm like, I'm fucking throw up all over your fucking shoes right now, dude. Tell me right now. I was like, nah, man. I walked this over here. You told me to, you told me to bring, I got kind of upset. I'm like, you told me to bring it here. I'm here. You told me not to make an appointment. And he goes, let me see what I can do. And he walks away, talks to his manager, and he fucking lets me in the store. Perfectly normal. Like, what, you couldn't have just done that in the beginning? Anyway, I get in there, and the guy that's helping me, the Mac genius, was obviously high. Cool-ass white dude with a beard. Very cool. He looked like he would read uh, children's books to kids. Nice. Kind of guy, you know? Uh-huh. So... Weren't we mid video edit? Wasn't there something frantic going on that had you pissed off prior to all this? Yeah, because my videos kept crashing. So I goes, I'm getting a new computer right now. Fuck this. I unplugged this shit. Call Matt iMac. Like, this is bullshit. So that's why. And I had, I I was in a rush and I had to get the video off. Yeah, there was some sense of urgency beyond all this. That's why I'm like, fuck you. And uh, so I get there and I'm like, yo, I want to trade this in. He goes, I can do that for you. Okay, I want to get this one. I asked you if you had it in stock. I have it in stock. Go, so, thank you, sir. I gave him my MacBook. We erased it. He gave it to me. I paid the difference. And I go, can I get insurance? And he goes, yes. <laughs> Puts my laptop in a bag, hands it to me with my receipt. And I go, thank you. I've never had anything work out the way it's supposed to ever with technology. You know this. You know this. You're taking the win on just the back half yeah, just of this that, experience. Ju- I just lost $1,400. Uh-huh off of my own computer and I'm like thank you because I take that loss over I sat there for four hours because my credit card was declined because somebody fucking stole my identity like something Uh, always happens to me so I go thanks man I looked at Rosie I go this is fucking awesome and I go thank you for real he goes man no problem have a good day he goes you're fuck yeah and I walked out as I'm walking out like no there's nope there's no fucking way in hell this is real and I look in it, and it's the wrong fucking MacBook. It's the wrong <laughs> MacBook. He charged me for the super expensive one and gave me the wrong one, right? Yep. So I go, hey, man, this is the wrong one. And he goes, oh, good thing you checked. And I go, oh, thank <laughs> God I checked. I didn't even leave the store. I looked at Rosie. At least we didn't go home and like I set my shit up because I'm happy now. We're in the store. Let's get our new one. Let's get our right one. And he comes back five seconds later. We're actually out of stock out of that going, no, but you said you had stock in it. And he goes, but I don't have it. And I go, well, what about my computer? He goes, they're probably erasing it right now. I can go get them to stop. And I go, <laughs> like, all, my, all my programs, I'm just thinking like, oh, my God. Okay. Um, can you go see if you guys have this? Oh, what about another one? So I was like, what about the one up from that? So I said, fuck it. That one's expensive. What about the more expensive one? Do you have the more expensive one? I just need one that with the chip so I can fucking edit. This is the fear that's going through my fucking brain right now. He takes me to the side and goes, we do have it in stock. I'll be right back. Well, thank God. No, he says, I'll have him bring it out. And a guy brings it out. As he brings it out, it's the wrong one again. What the fuck? The wrong one again. He goes, oh, bro, this is not the one. And as he's ringing me up again, I go, this is the wrong one again. He just looks down like, oh, my God. It's like the wrong RAM, right? The wrong RAM. It's a big I don't even know what that is. But, yes, it's the wrong stuff. (laughs) The wrong juice. And uh, that's the other thing. You don't even know what the fuck I don't know is what really any of it is. I asked you, like, what's the GB, the gigabytes need to be? What's the RAM need to be? <laughs> Thanks. That's how I feel with technologies, guys. So I know something always goes wrong. So I'm standing there and he goes, fuck, dude, we're out of stock. And he starts looking on his little iPad. They're out of stock in LA. They're out of stock in California. Right? Weeks back ordered. Right? And he goes, I'm going to see if I can get any store that has any in stock. He searches every fucking store on their database. He goes, we don't have any. And I'm just like stressing. I'm already FaceTimed you. I have already FaceTimed Marty and told him the situation. And I'm just sitting there stressing out. Like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And I go, hey, 
how about you just give me my money? I'll just trade the MacBook in or I'll trade my, my iMac in. You can keep the iMac. I'm going to buy the computer. Look at this what happened. Apple didn't have it. So I went on, I had Rosie go on fucking Amazon and she found it. My exact MacBook, right? She found it. Except what happened, guys? I traded my computer in already. They can't give me cash back. They said I can only get store credit. <laughs> <laughs> said I can only get store credit, guys. I traded my whole computer in at a loss. And then when they couldn't refund me because they didn't have what I wanted, <laughs> they could only give me store credit. <laughs> and, and then the MacBook didn't show up for four days. It said four days. I go, whoa. So now I'm four days late. I don't have any computer. I have no computer. I lost $1,400. I got $730 from my trade-in, and I can only use that at Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and there's literally nothing we need from Apple right nothing, now Nothing, <laughs> nothing. And then, and then what happened? I bought it on Amazon. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I can't use my Apple. My no. Apple money. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck you. So guys, I know that was a long story, but that's what happened to me. I just tried we to get the a fucking Seinfeld Guys, all I wanted to do was get a new computer and pay for it and give them currency from America. And then they go, nah, you only get Starbucks card. <laughs> that's basically what they did. We'll give you a gift card. And I told the guy, can I just get my gift card? I'll keep it and use it some way. And then I'm just going to leave your store and you can keep my computer. And then I find out that I need to give my mouse or my lap, my keyboard. He goes, oh, man, yeah, people just don't bring this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Can I just do it without the stuff then? I felt so played because he was so nice. I'm like, yeah, that. And it turned into an hour and a half of me going, oh, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? Fuck, uh -huh. fuck, fuck. No computer. So I had no computer for four days. You had like just signed like a new deal or something? I just signed a new contract with somebody and I was working on the video for him. Well, and then... Seinfeld. Yeah. Seinfeld. We had another sad technological moment again today. I filmed an entire vlog but, yesterday. Yeah, there is no Seinfeld moment in this though. I filmed a whole vlog files are corrupted yo i'm not lying when i say technology technology is stupid to sometimes me. sometimes cameras just really just want you to like, they want to they, fuck they yourself, fuck right? me yeah you see it all the time but, but yeah, yeah anyway my, all my files are corrupted that's the apple story that's the story that happened at apple and i even wrote in my notes my life is seinfeld mm -hmm. it says it right there in my notes jesus fucking christ what time are we at because i feel like i just ranted for hours what time 115 Oh, good. Guys, brings me into my next, top, my next topic. Let's wake up. Let's wake up a little bit, all right? Ah, let's wake up. Here we go. One of our official sponsors is Manscaped. Right now, if you click the link in our description or you go to manscaped.com slash Yola, you'll get 20% off and you'll get free shipping on anything, on the whole order. If you buy one thing, it's still 20% off free shipping. So for those of you that are new to Manscaped, which I fucking doubt, Manscaped is a grooming tool. Well, they're grooming tools. It's a fucking brand. There's a lot of things. And yes, if you're watching and paying attention real closely, the bag to my left, yes, this bag right here says ball wipes. Yes, they are pH balanced ball wipes. The thing I love about Manscaped is even when they send us all this like talking points and stuff, some of them are fucking hilarious. I read them off and just like, yo, who the fuck wrote this shit in the best way possible? I think one of them said, don't use the same razor you use on your on your balls that you use for your face. That's just gross. Or you don't want pubes in your mouth, do you? I'm like, yo, whoever wrote this needs to be my fucking friend. So it's a big reason why we really love teaming up with Manscaped, guys. Thank you so much. But once again, guys, if you go to manscaped.com slash Yola or you click the link in our description, the link's always in the video description or if you're on Spotify, Apple, it's always in the video description. That will give you 20% off, but you got to click our link. If you don't click our link, you don't get the discount. It will say it. You'll see it says it right there. Brought to you by Dope As Usual Podcast. So with that code, you'll get 20% off and free shipping. It's a win-win situation all the way around. Once again, guys, 100% authentic ad read. The Manscaped uh, <laughs> 4.0 lawnmower actually works. I was expecting blood, and there was no blood. It's scary as fuck. Shaving your dick and balls is fucking scary. If you're a guy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's fucking scary. This has a light on it. It will not cut you. doesn't pinch you. I 
I didn't try to cut my fucking dick, but I definitely didn't do super careful in case I'm like, yo, I love Manscaped, but you know, two months later, it cut a fucking hole in my balls. So that's why I had to use it and make sure it worked. It works, guys, and it's fucking waterproof. Again, thank you to our sponsor, Manscaped. Back to the episode. This is a, uh, I'm going to introduce this right now. I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Here's a little story time. I'm going to tell you guys a story. I um, told this, it's called, I think it's called Magic Mushrooms. It's, I did it in season one of story time. I'm going to tell you guys a story about mushrooms. And to bring up, before I brought up mushrooms, I went the, to the mall. Of all places, I want to go to the mall. I went to that very same mall today with my friend and went to one store and there was like 40 fucking mushroom t-shirts. All, oh, about 20. A lot. Everyone's selling mushroom apparel and shit right now. Everyone's like finally fucking with shrooms. I like that. I like that people are finally opening their eyes because mushrooms are fucking fun. So here we go, guys. Let's get into this story. And like I said, I'm trying to keep these shorter. So I'm going to I'm gonna talk about one more thing after the story. But this story is pretty fucking intense. And the best part about it is if you've been following me for a long time, you're going to remember what this is. And you're going to remember the time I talked about it when it happened. So ready? I'm going to skip all the pre-intro stuff because I don't like that person anymore. So I won't even talk about it. Here we go. Are you ready? Now it is time. Oh, we got to get Bruce Buffer to go. Story time. Oh, my. He'll do it on cameo. God. <gasps> That's cool. I like that. Here we go. This story time, let's just call it Mushrooms in Washington. Hello, Washington. No, sick that would be. It's time. Now. Story time. It is story time. Oh, my God. Dope has. Oh my god. And then I come and just knock knock somebody unconscious. Oh, it'd be sick. I'm kidding. All right, here we go. Mushrooms. Mushrooms in Washington. Here we go, guys. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So I went to this event in northwest of America. <laughs> All right. It was right before the Canadian border. I mean 15 minutes before the Canadian border. I go to this event. It's a weed event, and it was whatever. I, you know, it's a weed event. So all day chilling, doing the weed shit. Cool. This event was in a huge, huge field. You, you, I, I don't know how else to call it. It was a field, and then all around the field was forest. It's like somebody cut all the trees down in this one like five acre patch. It was huge. Like there was a lot of land, right? So guys, uh, this is like my second year of doing Instagram. So I'm still fairly new to it. I have a, I have a really big following at the time still, but I'm, I'm not having been, you know, I'm not even moved to LA yet. Push trees. I don't think it was started yet. It might've been, but I'm not sure. So here we go. <laughs> so I was in Washington, right? And I do this event, right? Fast forward, bam, events going on over toward the end of the night. Apparently in Washington at night, everyone just a psychedelics. So cool. And I'm out in the country. I mean, not in the country. I'm out in the woods, Right. There's a bunch of people set up tents, cars. We're in the middle of the forest, though. We had to drive down a really long dirt road to get there. So a like gravel road. So we're there. And this guy I know has mushrooms. And I'm like, yeah, I love mushrooms. I will eat them. He walks up to me and says, hey, I got all these mushrooms. I look at him like those look dry. But OK, huh? I trust your opinion. Yes. Let me get some. And he hands me like two handfuls. Right. If you're at home, he hands me like, if you're trying to cup water in your hand and not let it fall out with two hands, that's how much mushrooms he gave me, all right? Just about that much. Is that a good comparison? It seems look, like a lot of fucking mushrooms. Oh, I mean, not just for me. It was for me oh, and like gotcha. my Rosie and my other friend. Okay. It's like, yo, you guys ha hang out. Because we were all hanging out. We were staying at a hotel about two miles away. But the whole event was 24 hours. People were camping out. How much do mushrooms cost, though? Like, how much is that worth, a handful uh, of mushrooms? An eighth goes street, street for about 25 bucks. Cheaper than weed? Way cheaper than weed. Mushrooms are way cheaper than weed. A pound's like seventeen hundred dollars, eighteen hundred bucks. That doesn't add up to me. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. You can't really do mushrooms every day. No. But still, weeds, they're weeds, like weeds, they're weight. They're illegal. They're more. They're legal. You. They're legal in Oakland, bro. You can go buy legal fucking mushrooms right now. And uh, I knew about Colorado. I mean, Oakland. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oakland well, and another place in California. Legal. You can go to a shop. I think uh, there's a shop in Oakland. You can go and get fucking mushrooms mm. with strains and shit. Mm -hmm. Like Amsterdam. Mm. And cool. it's the, and it's that cheap. 
those might be different. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But I know this guy that makes mushroom bars. And they're like $35 wholesale. But they're in chocolate bars. They're like Wonka bars, all wrapped, nutrition mm-hmm. facts, sick shit, designs. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, so he gives me a bunch of mushrooms. But in Washington, he grabbed, no, he grabbed them out of a pound bag, though, Marty. So it didn't really matter. He just went yeah. out of the bag and goes, bam, like, oh, those look dry. It's all I thought. Like, all right, here we go. And then I ate, I ate like an eighth. Rosie ate like an eighth. My friend ate an eighth. So remember, this is at the, it's, there's no stadium lights. There's no, st- it's, it's a fucking forest. <laughs> it's a forest. Okay. And, but they're like EDC kind of kids. Yeah, so they yeah. got like cool light show going and like there's people dancing and on the sides, all the weed stuff. And there's a stage where people were performing, right? Like rappers and shit like that. It was a, a weed event. Well, oh, but it's a long time ago. Anyway, we're in the forest and remember, like I said, there's a big patch of no trees, but on the sides of us, like 200 yards away on the sides is the forest starting. And then there's like 500 yards in front of us, an open space. So you see a bunch of like hippie chicks dancing around all fucking on acid and shit. Like they're just having a good time. It's nighttime. So everyone's just chilling. We eat the shrooms and go, yo, I've never eaten shrooms in like a forest. Can we walk to the forest? Right? Okay. So (laughs) we walk toward the forest and I go, we're about 30 yards before the, the trees. And for some reason I go, hey, do you guys want to just lay down right here for a minute? Because I don't know if you've ever been to Washington. There's no, uh, what's it called, light pollution? Yeah, you can see the stars. Out I mean, the stars are right in front of you. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking up, and all I see is tall trees, hell of lights in the distance, and, like, music bumping. You see people backlit and shit, like, way in the distance. This reminds me of a push trees design. Didn't you do something like Or the, uh, the box art with all the push, like, you're laying on the ground, all the trees coming up. That's what it's reminding me of. That is not released. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. you, Never mind. You I'm motherfucker. Not. Beep. <laughs> Beep. Yep. Um, yeah. Yes, but yes. Um, so we're laying there, and I'm sitting there, and I'm expecting the mushrooms to hit. We waited like 20 minutes, but I'm, so I'm expecting some kind of feeling. So I'm sitting there, laying there. It's me, Rosie, and my friend. And he's on the he's on the edge. I'm on the edge. I think Rosie's next to me. I can't remember. I remember there's somebody next to me on my left. We're just laying on a fucking, in a field. Looking straight up, looking at these stars, waiting for these mushrooms to kick in. And I'm just sitting there. You know when you want your drugs to work, you're like, wait, I think I feel them. I think they're working. Like I'm Because for mushrooms, are so, sometimes they're hit and miss. So I'm sitting there like, no, no, they're not working. Okay, cool. We're just laying here. All right, fuck it. So we're sitting there and I sit up. We're there for like 35, 40 minutes sitting there waiting for these to work. So guys, in my head, you're in my brain. I'm sitting up. You know, you can see your feet poking up. You know, imagine that you see your feet people next to sitting there we're all just chilling there's no one within fucking 100 yards of us we're by the we're by the trees the weed events about 300 yards back you know what i'm saying but we could see it we can hear the music do 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 in the back and shit you can see all the fog lights and shit it's it's cool there's a bunch of people out still they're camping you see a bunch of tents you see the cars with their headlights on i'm trying to paint this picture for you i'm just looking up and the moon is above the trees this way so if somebody was in like walking through the forest they'd be somewhat backlit so you would be able to see their silhouette. See what I'm saying? So, like on some uh, X Files shit, like what is that? You know, with the light behind them. So, I'm laying there. I mean, I'm sitting there, with my feet up. I'm looking, and I go, you "Guys, ready? Are you guys fucking ready for this?" I'm looking. I'm like, "Is that a person?" And I see, like, way off in the fucking distance. I mean, we're 30, 40 yards. O- away from the tree line. So I can I can see the trees well. They're right there. They're huge. But way in the distance, I'm like, you know, you can see movement. So I'm like, what is that? Is that an animal? I don't have a knife. Holy shit, is that a fucking animal? And then I think, no, it's a dude. He's standing up. So I see something walking, standing up. And I'm like, is that shaped like a bear? And the first thing I think is, is there a fucking bear right here? I'm going to start sprinting to the people. Because I can't, we, we, no, we're going to get eaten. We're going to get eaten. We're the only ones out there trying to trip by ourselves on mushrooms, right? So, of course, we're going to be a fucking, we're going to die. If this is a movie, we're dead. If that's a bear. So, I just see, oh, shit, my fucking joint went out. Hold on. And I'm like this. Yo, guys, guys, guys. Do you see somebody walking? And remember, the light is kind of backlighting. It's almost like it's foggy. Like, it's very eerie. Like uh, Sasquatch. Yeah, like some Sasquatch (laughs) shit. And I'm looking, I'm like, what is that? Remember, 
mushrooms have been eaten. You were wondering if you were tripping at the time, right? Okay. Mushrooms have been eaten. So I'm thinking in my head, nah, I think these mushrooms hit me. And I'm still looking. I'm like, and then that's when I got everybody, I'm Rosie and my friend looking. And we're looking like, no, no, no. And they go, oh, I see it. I see it too. And something's walking between the trees. I'm like, what the fuck? And it comes out, comes out of the trees. And remember, I can't see it, what it is, but it looks like a bear, but walking like a person. The fuck is some Bigfoot shit? It's walking closer. It's you guys are just standing. You guys are we're sitting just like this, just being still. It's not right next to us. It's pretty far still, but it's walking. I go, it's a dude in a bear suit because we're at a festival. I'm like it's a guy in a bear suit, and I tell him like, oh my god, it's a fucking dude in a bear suit because you can see white like he's in a panda outfit. Like you could see it when he's starting to come closer because the moonlight is like it's. I could still I could see him more now than when he was fucking eighty yards away from me, right? And he's getting closer, and I'm like, don't say nothing to him. But he's walking like 15, 20 feet of, away from us, but being the beelining to the festival. He's probably in the fucking woods taking a shit or something weird, or something, right? Okay. So I'm like, oh, is this, is this a guy? But the whole time I'm thinking, are we all hallucinating this? Or is there really a man in a fucking panda outfit? <laughs> and I wasn't sure yet, but I was pretty convinced that I wasn't wor- I wasn't tripping. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I was not, I'm not even done. Are you ready for what happens? You ready? Here we go. For everyone in the car, sorry, I just had to look at each camera to get them all ready. All you cameras ready. <laughs> ready? Here we go. This motherfucker is about 15 yard, fifteen feet away from us, beelining. Like I said, not coming toward us. We're sitting here, and he's walking from the woods. He walks around us. All right? Not going to walk right next to us like a creep. This motherfucker starts walking around us. We're sitting in grass. I mean, we're sitting in a field, so it's like grass. I swear to God, I'm so happy that people were with me because nobody would believe me in my life. Nobody would ever fucking believe me. <laughs> Yo, okay, so I think my mushrooms are hitting me now, right? So... This fool's walking, and I swear to God, out of nowhere, out of fucking nowhere, no, like, hey, what is that? Nothing. He just walking to this, to automatically walking to, boom, flashlights in our face, like a cop, quick as fuck. But are you guys ready? The second he goes, he's about 15 feet away from us, flashlights in our face. Ready? He goes, are you dope as Yola? (laughs) (laughs) And I go, Huh? He goes, Are you dope as Yola? And I go, Yeah. Yo, I love your videos, man. Have a good night. Thanks, man. And he walked away. And I looked at Rosie, my homie, and go, You you guys saw it too, right? He did say that, right? Yeah. What the f-? and we all just started talking and dying live and like, yo, what the fuck? Was he in a panda suit? He was in a panda suit. Jesus Christ. In a full outfit panda suit with just his face exposed. Is it that? It wasn't there a dude in a panda suit in one of the vlogs? Was there? In the first vlog we did, there was a dude in uh, some sort of animal suit. That was Wilfred, man. Okay. <laughs> the actor. Oh, okay. <laughs> the <All> TV <laughs> show. Yeah, he's cool, but no, that was a dog suit. <laughs> no, this guy was in a full panda suit, a huge suit of a panda. So you're in the, what you're saying is so you're in an empty field tripping Empty balls field trying to trip balls. Fan in a panda suit. In a panda suit. <laughs> into a panda. In a panda outfit, Marty. <laughs> no, no, not even that. The fact that he's just walking casually and goes... So he, so he saw me because the moonlight's behind him. We can't see his face. Moonlight's lit, light, lighting our faces up. You, you see what I'm saying? We're sitting there staring. We're at sitting him there going, fucking... like, all right, like, wow. what the fuck? And we realize the guy that he just as he's getting back by us, just goes, like he was trying to frighten us. Just, are you dope as Yola? <laughs> I go, ah! <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, <laughs> what happened? Five minutes later, I go, yo, these mushrooms fucking suck. Walked back to the fucking place. Mushrooms did not hit me at all. Then we're walking back to the cars. I'm like, I'm driving to the hotel. I'm not even tripping. Fuck this. I don't give a fuck. Don't drive on mushrooms. And I'm driving. And I'm like, fuck this. So we start going back through the, the festival. And then we come across. Ew. I want to see Rosie's face. Hey, Rosie, do you remember the guy with the puppets? Oh, yeah. See your face? See your face, Marty? Yeah. Ready? There was a guy. We were walking back to our car. It's the last, like, booth. And there's a guy doing a puppet show, but marionettes, like with strings, and they're like dolls. 
I think you were tripping your fucking balls off. We weren't. We weren't. Are you ready? He's doing a whole, he's got a little stage, like five, as big as his table. And he's got like six things going on at once. And they have like a background. And he's playing fucking music while doing the puppets. You understand what I'm saying? He's got him attached to like his foot and his hand. So he's moving the strings while he's playing like a banjo. And he's doing shit and he's talking and singing. But the shit he was singing, Marty, made me instantly, the mushrooms hit me immediately. They went from not hitting me whatsoever, a dud about to drive home, to the worst trip I've had. That's something I don't understand, Jeff. I got stuck in a really bad trip looking at this man, and I got like paralyzed, and I couldn't leave. And Rosie's next to me, and I'm like, Rosie, 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 you want to leave? You want to leave? Yeah, 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 I want to leave. I can hear her in her voice like, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this guy's scary. And the guy's vibe that came off was like, I know you're fucking tripping and I'm going to be in your brain. Like he was looking oh, at us God. like, but he looked nice. But the way he was looking nice was like maniacal. Uh huh. But he's doing all this shit and like singing all sick. All it sounds dope. like some American horse story. But he's shit. singing like to like soothing shit. Uh-huh. Like he's trying to draw. And there was like 10 people watching him just. It's like he was putting a spell on us. I swear to God. It was the creepiest thing I've ever experienced in person because me and Rosie both went, oh, well, I don't want to be here, but why aren't we leaving? Do you think he was really super creepy or do you think mushrooms oh, tunes you in? Definitely super vibes? creepy. Yeah. He was definitely super creepy, but it's like the mushrooms hit me and just gave me a bad trip. Mm. I, I was stuck and I could see the puppets and I could see him closer. And it was like they were getting bigger on me. And I'm like, oh, oh fuck. It's like a funhouse mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I was getting funhouse mirror with them, but not like insane, but just enough to where it's like this. And you can notice the difference. Like Super Mario with the mushroom. Mm -hmm. Like not a huge difference, but enough. Mm -hmm. And um, I got stuck for about 10, 15 minutes, scared. I broke it once and started walking away. And, and I got Rosie and I started watching it again. And I'm like, it's so interesting. It was like a play with these puppets, but he's playing music, and one of them was getting stabbed by one of the. It was so fucking weird and like dramatic. Anyway, that's the time the guy in the panda suit was just was like a fan, and then you know it's crazy. I saw two years ago. There's this group. I don't know if you can Google it. There was this group going around in panda suits, murdering people in the forest. Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. Remember Rosie. Remember, there's a group of dudes in panda outfits and they were killing and torturing people in the forest. They got caught. Panda outfits, murder forest. Panda outfits, murder forest. Put guys in panda suits, commit murder. I saw it a couple years later and people even said, yo, your story time. What if he wasn't a fan? He would have killed you guys because he was fucking scary. He was very, he was like, he was a big motherfucker, dude. He was a big ass dude. Wait, it's not popping up? It was in the news. It was in the fucking news, man. Panda suits are kind of fucking terrifying. Yeah. It's Except his had a face cut out. You can see his face. Yo, I can't, it's not there, Rosie. I saw the shit on, I saw it on the news. And that's when I even said somebody sent it to me on DM too, but uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that was the <laughs> the mushroom store. That's one of the mushrooms, and it's not even like a mushroom trip. It's just the fact that I was in the forest and this guy was a fan <laughs> and a panda suit. And thing is, we were in the pitch black, so he was like, "I think it's him. Let me shine my fucking light in his face." <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> that's so uh, ridiculous. It was kind of funny though. Uh, so yeah, that's a small story. I just want to give you one little small story time. All right. And, um, yeah, we're at an hour and a half. I want to do something. Me and Marty are thinking, uh, trying to think of ways to incorporate fans more, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. But this time we're trying to lean more toward Patreon people. Here we go. So our Patreons links in the description. I went and picked, a, uh, one question to answer. Me and Marty were thinking of a way to incorporate it. And we think every time I say, what the fuck were they talking about? We're going to start bringing up a question. So that's pretty much going to be the reoccurring segment, I think. But for now, for now, Marty, can you bring up that motherfucking question? This is from Chris on Patreon. We got Chris on Patreon here. K-R-I-S, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
how has your experience selling how has your experience selling weed affected the way you run push trees do you think you learn skills that translate over and help run a legal business or are they completely different 150 percent we uh called our things trees to teas <laughs> that's that's what me and rose used to say we used to sell weed but now we just sell we uh shirts so uh yes a hundred percent it's the same fucking thing because when i'm like i got a pound if i bust down to four qps and i sell and i got the fucking pound for two thousand dollars i gotta make five hundred dollars a qp to break even but if i sell them for 650 each i'm gonna make 150 on each and make three 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 that's gonna be i mean 150 make 600 bucks on a pound if i get five of those pounds and i sell them for the same thing i make three thousand dollars see how that math is added up real quick that's what I do about shirts. I'm like, all right, if I get this run, no, no, it doesn't matter how many shirts. All right, ready, go. How much I spent? All right, we spent $30,000 on these shirts. Cool. How many shirts did I get? All right, let's divide that. Bam, bam. What do I got to make per shirt to make my money back? Say it's $15. All right, cool. So if I sell them for 30 bucks, I make $15, right? But after taxes, after this, okay, blah, 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 I'm making about eight bucks. Blah, blah, cool. Done. Make about eight bucks a shirt after taxes if I do this right. So that's exactly how I break it down. How many eighths do I got to sell? to make money how many shirts do i gotta sell eights are shirts bongs are zips all right make the same amount of money off an of a dub and eighth than you would off of a shirt make the same amount of money off a bong re, uh, retail than i would off of selling a zip to somebody off the pound breakdown so it's direct goddamn street science it's direct like that's that's the only way my brain works like all right, what I got to get? What's the what's the bottom line? What do I have to get? All right, cool, cool. Now these are all profit. That's why I give a lot of shit away because, no, I already made my money. I got it. I had to sell fucking 291 shirts to make my money off of that design or shit like that. That's how I do That's how I did it with weed. All right, cool. If I sell all this, I can keep three ounces. <laughs> That's what I used to do. I used to cherry pick all the bomb ass nugs and put them in these two huge jars. So if I got a pound, I'd take a QP out. I only have to sell three QPs to make my profit back. Do you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. if I sell for six fifty, I got the pound for two hundred. Smoke for free, basically. Yeah. So what's what's that? Uh, ready? What's six fifty for QP? And if I bought it for for two thousand bucks, ready? Six fifty, six fifty. That's thirteen hundred dollars. What's another six fifty? Listen, we don't need to start right. loft and math questions. But nineteen. Maybe. That's nineteen fifty. Yeah. I'm fifty dollars short of breaking even, and I got to smoke a QP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. It's a good deal. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But ready if I broke it down and I start busting down that QP? Yeah. What if I bust that QP into zips and I sold those zips for 200 a piece? My QP went from 650 to 800. Now, if I wanted to do that, what happened? I made, what, like two three $300 more. Mm -hmm. So if I sold it all in zips for 200, I'd make 32 a pound. I'd pay 200. I'd make 1200. But your risk goes up at the same time. Yeah. And your time, time, all that shit. It's the time. Yeah. yeah. So that's how it works. So that's what I do for clothes. Like, oh, we we're fifty dollars, fifty pounds. Uh, we we're buying fifty shirts. When do I get a price price breakdown? Like, oh, when you do two hundred and something mm -hmm. something shirts. Okay, how much less? Oh shit. Okay, fuck. All right, I'm gonna make that much more per shirt if I invest in myself yeah. more. And it's, circle, a, it's like, a flip. Like it's just flipping. It's like, oh, I bought an eighth. How I started selling weed? I bought a ten sack and sold for twenty five fucking dollars. Bought that twenty five dollars and I bought an eighth. I made more money and I doubled that and I doubled that and I got a zip and then we got a Q and then we got a pen. Here we are. Here we are. So that's how it worked. I got a couple shirts and then I flipped those and kept that and flipped those. Thing is with me, I'm really bad with money. So if I make a hundred thousand dollars, I spend a hundred thousand dollars back into the business. I don't ever pay myself and I know I should. I always see it as I don't need anything, but my business needs to run. I don't yeah, that's not exact advice i feel like. no that's that's how i do yeah, it like I say, i'm not good with it but now but that we is to, good though but we have to pay our we have to pay ourselves yeah, legally now legally yeah, we yeah, have to yeah. but if I, you don't pay yourself as a business owner you get fined two thousand fucking dollars mm -hmm, yeah my my overall point was that's what you're supposed to be at, at, in your that, 20s and your 30s and shit you should be trying all to day, figure out everything. how you can flip up by the time everything. you're 35 you're where you want to be a hundred percent i i used to think oh, five years if this works in five years, like I never think people are like, Oh, I'm trying to get rich today. But like, good luck. Good. If you get it, good shit. Is it quality? Is it lasting? Will it transcend into other generations of shit? Mm. And if it can, then you win. But if it doesn't, then you're just trying to get rich quick. And what happens to one hit wonders? Obscurity. There I end it up is. Working at fucking Walmart. 
which is not bad. And that's cool. But if your goal is to be a millionaire, you can't work at Walmart unless you own that bitch, which mm-hmm. is sick in the franchise. Ooh. Hey, you got some money? If you all you trap kids out there, here's some advice. You got fucking hundred thousand dollars in trap money. Make that shit legal somehow. Find a way to make that legal. Start fucking put it into a business that you can do with low maintenance. That way you can start building up legal money and then go buy a little Caesars. Mm-hmm. Go franchise a little Caesars or a Domino's in your town. Because what doesn't go out of fucking business? Fast food, gyms, little Caesars. Five dollar pizza. Mm-hmm. It's in every ghetto in the fucking America. Yeah, that's true. They never go away. They're never going to go away. Every high school kid of the planet has $5 to split with their homies and they all get one pizza. That's why I say everything. Like, don't, no, don't make a fucking fancy Italian restaurant in a poor town. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not going to change the society of your town. If it's too expensive, why the fuck are you doing it? Don't do a steakhouse in Merced. Mm -hmm. They're sizzler. Yeah, you see a lot of people buy into franchises like that. Yeah, buy right. into a franchise, man. Buy into a McDonald's, it's just an shit investment. like that. Like it's just an investment. System, yeah, it's kind of like buying property. Like I want to, I want to build but, a fucking neighborhood. That's my. Yeah. I have a homie do. I told you that my homie's building a neighborhood right now. It's fucking awesome. So yes, Chris from Patreon, your question directly. Everything, like we said the other day, I was trying to do math. I go, I don't know, and I went, wait. That's like 48 pounds. <laughs> I remember that? Yeah. I broke it down in my uh-huh. head and went, damn, dude, I only get it if we're it's talking me. about ad reads and shit. Yeah, we're talking about ad reads. And, but, but if we do this, 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 like, that's one pound. Like, <laughs> oh, man, my brain sucks. And um, there we are. Thank you, Chris, from Patreon. Yes, your question, 100%. It goes directly into it. That's how I think about everything. Try to flip things, make more here, flip that. But the only reason why is like, all my money goes back into businesses and we're starting, I'm starting another business with my homie this month and another, uh, another business with my other friend comes out next month where it's, it's never ending, but it's going to be like, you have eight giant companies in 10 years. (laughs) Yeah, I know I was broke for 20 years doing it, (laughs) but it's worth it because I just want to be old and raise dogs when I'm like old ass man and drink Welch's grape juice the point is to comfortably do what you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get there. We're trying to get there. So uh, watch these motherfucking ads. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Manscaped. Uh, appreciate it. I was about to pull it up. Thanks, Manscaped. <laughs> but no, for real, um, the way I think about it, guys, is uh, late night TV, Jimmy Kimmel, all that stuff. He doesn't do ad reads. Why? Because there's fucking commercials. He doesn't have to do the ad read. There are no commercials on this network because they're not a network. So that's our commercial. See what I'm saying? And we put out so much shit for free. We do so much that these ad reads are allowing us to do more. We were trying to hire more people so we can go to two episodes a week. I think two episodes a week is the goal. I would fucking love it. It makes me have more to do. It's like, I feel like after day three, I'm like, all right. Ready for another one. You ready for another one? That's how I always feel like. When When's the next spot? Monday? Fuck. And I know all you guys agree because I get all the comments. So guys, um, that was the most precise, I think, solo episode I've done. I try to mm-hmm. keep it and not rant city everything. And, uh, oh, guys, we're making merch, and Rant City is coming soon. All right? We got some merch coming. It's, it's fucking baller, but we want to introduce Rant City a little more. We're going to come out with a little segment. <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Marty, what, what else you got to say, man? We kind of teased the idea of a live stream podcast on Instagram. Oh, at least I yeah, did. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gonna be in Hawaii, apparently. Oh, that's right. yeah. So it's a problem, but the fans like no, the on idea. Your vacation for your anniversary. Yeah. Uh, go in the other room. Go on Zoom for four hours and chill with us. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bro. I'm kidding. Wait, yeah. who would man the camera? We can't do it without you anyway. <laughs> Unless Nick's like, no, uh, I got it. Yeah, well, I mean, Nick is a fucking. That's true. That's true. It's just me and Nick yeah. FaceTime and Marty yeah. in Hawaii. It looks <laughs> nice there, Marty. April in the back is pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Beats your ass in Hawaii. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to get April to fucking defend herself. Yeah. 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 You know what? Another thing, dude, we have to play basketball because uh-huh. you're a fucking college. You, you went to, you, that's what you do, play basketball. I want to see. That's what I used to do, though. I know, but you, it never goes away. Even though you're not as good, you still know how to do shit. Yeah, I mean. Well, you know how this this post up pat. I don't never. Totally. Did I ever tell you real quick before I leave? Did I ever tell you what happened when I tried to prepare for basketball? 
I would say I'm good at basketball, Marty. Listen, I've edited a fucking video of you on 5,000 milligrams you're out there uh, doing hot sauce shit. You're right. And you yeah. referenced hot sauce, man. Hey, once, yo, I, and that's I what hope I referenced. Re- listen, leave in the comments hey, if yo. you appreciated that shit. Yo, hot sauce was my favorite one, bro. <laughs> yeah. He was my, that that was it. Yeah. When he started doing the shirt shit Dude, and the twist. I was uh, hot sauce. Same. Yeah. I, all I did was practice. I had the long hair and my fucking Air American Eagle shirts selling sacks to the gangsters and mm. shaking the, you know how many times I got in fights almost? Because mm. I would shake the fuck out of these hood ass dudes <laughs> they're all in tims and shit no like <laughs> they're, they're big basketball uh, i used to live in the uh yeah. the grove and there's a ghetto ass apartment mm-hmm. and there was like these hood ass dudes that always play basketball and there's a little fat me with long hair looking like rosie o'donnell and shit mm. and i'm over here smoking <laughs> joints and blunts with my homies and then just oh let me play i, sh- I shook a fool to his fucking ass once and mm. he got up and swung on me <laughs> mm. <laughs> he got up and That's swung on me and his homies held him back and i was like yo the fuck, the fuck you want me to do, yeah. man? Go go less hard. It's just I was a fat little Mexican kid, and all these tall black dudes were like, "You ain't shit." I'm like, "No, I'll, I'll probably miss, but I'm gonna shake the fuck uh-huh. out of you first. <laughs> now it's more like, I'm gonna give up, bro. I'm not good anymore. I'm not good anymore. I can't. I can't shake nobody no more. But I used to be shockingly good. And my homie Joe, Joe from All Story Times, he was bomb ass basketball player, and he always shook the fuck out of me, and it pissed me off. He's good as fuck at basketball. Anyway, I brought that up. I went to, I did all that shit, right? And one shit, I was juking the fuck out of, Andre Guzman fucking elbowed me in the mouth one time, one-on-one, because I shook him so fucking hard, and he Mm. pulled the bullshit, and then scored, and goes, I won. (laughs) All right, fuck you, I'm scushing. And I was like, it's because I shook you, huh? And I remember that. I was like, Damn. it's because I shook you, huh? See, people thought I was cute because I was a fucking white boy doing this shit. They got violent with you. <laughs> I was in the fucking ghetto, man. Still, I mean. But the thing is, when people get real embarrassed, like yeah, when people true. get mad embarrassed, mm-hmm. they want to fight. Yeah. Always. Every time I was like chilling with like the super hood Mexican fools, everyone try, someone's trying to, gonna try to fight you. Mm-hmm. I've gotten so almost... <laughs> Nobody wants to get shaken by, shake by the fat kid. <laughs> and when everybody goes, oh! Uh, <laughs> and then it's real bad. Like, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, dude, not anymore. But um, I went to basketball tryouts, and my thing in my head was like, don't be a ball hog. Mm-hmm. Do not be a ball. I tried for seventh grade basketball in Tanaya. Don't be a ball hog. Don't fucking show off. That's all I kept thinking. Mm-hmm. Don't show off. Don't try to juke motherfuckers and pass the ball. Stop being a ball hog. I didn't make the team. Next morning, talk to the coach. He goes, you just don't take the initiative for the ball enough. I need a leader, is what he said, for Damn. your position. You don't take shots. You almost took, you took one shot yesterday. He's like, I need someone that's more active in, in, in the offense. And I went, no, <laughs> no way did you tell me. I remember he told me that, and I was just like, uh, ah! my homie Anthony Avila made it, and he's just fat like me. And I was just like. I was so I was like I would have threw it off the backboard and fucking <laughs> take myself, motherfucker. I would have done everything. You know, ever see Escalade? That's me. Oh, That's me. God. I swear, dude. I, I would have never thought of Escalade again in my life. Escalade was up. so hard, Fuck. big motherfucker. Yeah. Just wow, that's bah, hilarious. Bah. Oh. I feel I feel like our demo might not know what the fuck we're talking about. I don't know. Go look up and one mixtapes, all right? Volumes so, 1 through 4. Ooh, I had them on DVD. The red yeah, one? The yeah. re- oh. Because they used to drop with the shorts and the sneakers. I never got any of those poor out. as fuck. I just got the DVDs, the, the burn copies. Oh, <laughs> I got yeah, all the yeah, burn yeah, copies. Yeah. Nah, that shit was I got a one, event. I got one, though, that yeah. was in the real, cause the, the real DVD mm-hmm. case, though. It was the red one. Yeah. Or was it black? That shit is legendary either way. Fuck, man. I, yo, Professor? Shout out to Professor. Yeah, that motherfucker's on YouTube. There. Yeah, he's on he, Instagram. Do you too. see him go to the prison and shake the fuck yeah. out of everybody? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yo, go on, man. Go to Venice Beach. These <laughs> fools got it hard enough. You know, we're shaking the fuck out of him. Come on. <laughs> fuck, dude. But yeah, Professor, man, I loved all that shit. Uh, anyway, that's my story. I did not make the basketball team because I did the opposite of what I usually do and hog the ball and. Uh, it was great. <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't make it. I'm I'm lying. I was pissed. All right, I was fucking heated. I was so mad. Um, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I brought it up because we gotta play basketball. Because I've never. You, I know you know how to play basketball. Uh, I have one other friend, Ace. Shout out to fucking Ace. Remember when he came to play basketball with me? I didn't know my friend. He was he was a college basketball player. I didn't know people were that good in person. Mm. Like now that I see that, I go, oh, NBA players are magnificent. Then 
because you haven't played in five years and this is what you're doing. Yeah. He hit like 35 threes in a row. Yeah, like, no, I'm not like that. <laughs> he's just hitting with the wrist shot over and fucking over, dude. Nah, I'm good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I'm fat now. This is some <laughs> bullshit. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything to add, man. I That'd think be sick. We, we're done. we got the 360 cam now, so we could fucking. Yes, we got 360 cam, so you can be like fucking hanging out like 70 show with us soon. That's um, real shout out to Matt Alonzo for showing us that shit. Yes. That's when he. That's when we found out about it. Um, guys, yeah, I think that's it, man. This is the most precise. Uh, and honestly, I'm gonna say it. I feel like I need. I feel unenergetic today. I don't know. My bad. If you if, if it didn't feel like, I feel like I was off today. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to say that in case somebody was out there like, don't worry. Never happened again. All right. I feel like, I don't know. I don't feel like you're off. I feel like you're going on three hours of sleep. Maybe that's what it is. And I keep thinking about Total Recall and Quaid and the fucking, (laughs) the baby in his stomach. (laughs) Sharon Stone, you bitch. You fucking bitch. Honest Schwarzenegger. Come on the podcast, man. I'm just going to sit there and go, I love you. I fuck. Flex again. Flex again. There's so many guests that you're like, I don't think there's going to be anything beyond me just telling them how much I love them. Like, like Arnold, put your arm out and I'm going to hang on it. I can't do pull-ups, but let me hang on it. <laughs> let me hang on your Episode arm. Episode 100, yeah. Like, yo. And, uh, yeah, I know. Kindergarten, yeah. I know. By 100, I'm going to do pull-ups. I Off Arnold's care. arm. <sighs> That's the new goal. I want him to hold me like he, uh, by the back of my overalls, like he does that kid in kindergarten cop. Boys have a Who are these lunches? Have yes. Yeah. But remember when he picks up the fat kid? Whose lunches are these? Uh-huh. And he's holding yeah, yeah. them up and he, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he spits it out. I fucking love Arnold Schwarzenegger. And we're going to end on that note. Arnold, if you're out there, uh, I know you have kids. Hey, Arnold's kids, I will get you high for the rest of your life. Just bring your motherfucking dad on my show. And then I'm going to go. Who is your daddy and what does he do? And I'm gonna run. Ah, I'm gonna run up the fucking building. I'm gonna. It's a ferret. Oh, bro! Everything I'm saying now is just total recall and kindergarten cop. Uh-huh. I'm out of here. Can't say nothing about Commando. This is my my weak arm. God, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger so fucking much. I have a statue of you in my house. It's a toy, but it's a statue. All right, guys, I'm sorry for everyone driving. I'm over here ranting and shit. I'm fucking high. I'm going on mid hours of sleep. So let's get this done. Marty, anything else you want to add? Thank you, guys. We're feeling great. We're about to take this shit to the next level. And it just feels amazing that we're up and running and everybody's enjoying themselves. Level up. Oh, my God. That sounded like a real hello. Oh, wow. I'm going to yeah. start doing more of this. Doing video game voiceovers or some shit. You're dead. Yep. Uh, I'm going to start doing that. GTA. Um, I know everybody. I'll say one more thing. I'm such a rant, motherfucker. Was it? Was it? I think it's called Apex or Legends or whatever game has the guy Roadhog in it. There's a game, and he's like a, a dwarf or an elf, but his name's Roadhog. <sighs> I think it's the game called Legends. Yeah, tar, tar, put like video game Legends Roadhog. Overwatch. Sorry, Overwatch. That's what it is. There's a guy named Roadhog. Um, if you want to check it on YouTube, there's a thing. It's called, he said my name. It's my little brother. He has a YouTube channel and, uh, this guy I got, I was hooking up with weed and shit. He knows, um, he knows the dudes that do Optimus prime at universal. Mm. All right. So I had them say my little brother's name and like bring him out in front of the crowd when they're doing their whole speech. And he's like, only one person could save the planet with me. He's all Rocco. And he calls him out and I filmed the whole thing. And my little brother posted it on YouTube and he got monetized off it. He got so many views. <sighs> wow. My little brother got like a $20 check the other day. Nice. He was all hyped. And um, it's on YouTube still. And it's, <laughs> it's fucking awesome. awesome. Anyway, the guy came out and the guy that does the voice does the voice for this Roadhog. And the second he talked, I go, how many bowls do you smoke a day? <laughs> this, I swear, it was just, he looked like Seth Rogen in fucking 40-year-old virgin, to yeah. quote it again. Oh, it's just like, I smoked weed. And like, that's how he looked. I'm like, yo, what? You, you look you look like you smell like bowls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he looks like the bottom of your thumb has hell of black ash on it. And uh, yeah, he's that guy. So for every, all you video game fans out there, Roadhog's cool. All right. And uh, I'm going to leave it on that random ass fucking topic why did i bring it up no idea oh video game voiceovers <laughs> i'm out of here man this is terrible i keep talking um all right let's do another ad read. 
Let's do another ad read after we're done with this podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we got to start doing them before. You're right. I'm fucking high. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. This is episode 15, correct? I believe so. Mm, um, that sounds about right. Yeah. Episode 15, guys. Exactly three months today. Thank you so much. Fucking appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. This has been the Dope As Usual podcast. Once again, we're here to talk about life, problems, drugs, accomplishments, and everything in between. And today was a lot of everything in between. Thank you guys for hanging out. We appreciate it. Have a dope ass day. Yo, that weed, I should have bought a lot more of it. It was fucking fire. I hate that Bob Barker. I was thinking about Abby Gilmore. <laughs> oh, no. Now you've had enough. Bitch. Perfect. Perfect.